think we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play some more Harry Potter's Hogwarts Battle. The deck building game published by... I think it's the, the op. op I yeah, think. I think it's the op games. Woo! Uh, we're here for game seven. You all know which game we're playing by now. We're on, we're on game seven, episode... Four, four, I think. Yeah, I want to say four. Yeah, I think it's four. Uh, so some bookkeeping. Uh, I think I, I said it last episode, but I'm not sure. I definitely talked about another stream, definitely posted in the Discord and stuff. Um, we did buy from a local game store, we got our, uh, the Harry Potter, um, expansions for this game. The charms and potions, the monsters. Uh, I will probably schedule for Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to schedule the monsters one. We're just going to play through it as like the little four campaign -y thing, kind of like we played this. Before we get into mixing and matching and, and comboing everything together, I just want to like experience a little campaign to see how it is. I know what people says, man, some people say not great, whatever. I just want to play it. Okay. So we're going to play that probably this weekend. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I haven't scheduled it yet. So just watch for that. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, you guys can tune in for that. Assuming we actually beat this today. Oh, yeah. We are, play the... we are playing game seven. Yeah. The last one. Um, but if we fail, we got to try again, right? So we're going to at least play two sessions tonight, I think. If we win on the first one, obviously we're done. Uh, if we lose, we'll play it a second time. After that, I don't know if we'll stream it again to play seven over again. We'll see. Like if we lose more than twice? Yeah. But there is a future where we like mix in expansions and play seven with expansion. I don't, I don't know. Because this is now like the seven makes it like the full, full game. Yeah, that's, we're not in tutorial mode anymore. No, we're, yeah, we're now out. This is officially, once we start playing with this, it's like all the content in the box is now introduced. Yeah. Finally. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know. I have not opened it. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's the deal. Neopet, hello. Matthew Rose, hello. Hello to everyone watching live. Hello. Uh, James, hello. Hello. Our last game, nothing but high price cards are in the Hogwarts deck in the very first turn. Oh. Talk about a long, slow death. Oh. That's uh, we cannot build any engines, zero low cost cards. And that's a problem. But, 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 again, there's house rules, there's rules introduced in the expansions, all that stuff to fix things. Supposedly. Look that up online. I, I, I don't know. There's ones like, you know, putting duplicate cards on the same cards. There's. I forget, there was something about clearing the deck like once a game per yeah, player for, or something. I think you could pay three influence. Oh, and okay. Then I think it was three, maybe it was four, and you could clear it one time per player. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's house rules. Go look on Board Game Geek. Go check under the variant section probably in the forums. I bet there's tons in there to people trying to balance the game, fix the game. Uh, not to mention expansion rules that are added in. I'm sure you just look up the PDFs of those rule books and try to incorporate those rules in. Um, but yeah, that kind of sucks when you're like, you know, you're losing just because it's something out of your control right from the start. It's like, why play? Then it's like, well, you set it up. So it's like, let's fix that. Right. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Yeah. Like we got lucky last one or whatever. We, we crushed it because we had a, a super smooth cost curve. Right. Um, but yeah. Christopher, hello. Magical hello. afternoon for me playing Hogwarts Legacy and watching you guys play Year 7. Yeah. That's awesome. my day. That, That's, was, yeah. that was my day today. I played Hogwarts Legacy on stream earlier. Yeah. And then now I'm playing Hogwarts uh, Hogwarts Battle. Uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. So yeah. Uh, probably by the end of the next couple weeks, I will be completely sick of Harry Potter. And never want to touch it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, sort of. No, I'm joking. It does make me want to go watch the movies a little bit again. So, like, some of these characters and some of the Hogwarts legacy stuff. And I can, like, see things like, oh, I was in that place. Oh, I experienced that place in the video game. Or, oh, I remember that character in the card game. Now it makes sense why they have that ability. You know? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're almost at 17,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah, we're six away. Yeah, we're close. We're yeah. very close. Yeah, we're close. If you haven't subscribed, let's uh, help get us there. That would be awesome. Yeah, it looks Thank like, you so uh, much. Was that six more? Yep. It's hard It's hard to read this upside down like this. Uh, it's very hard. Yeah, it looks like six more. Six okay. more. Right. Joseph, good evening. Good evening. 
Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I just watched a video about like tweaking more graphical settings for Hogwarts Legacy. So I'm like now kind of itching to like go sit on the computer again and spend more hours like I have over the last 24 hours, like sitting there tweaking things and trying things and restarting the game and see if I can get rid of some of the hitching and improve the frame rate and stuff. Yeah, good times, good times. All that while I wait for the patch that will probably just fix that all anyway, but I am, you know, can't wait, can't wait. So I'm just going to do it. All right. I think we're good to get started. Um, yeah. All right, let's crack this open here. Let's see. Oh, we got the sword of Gryffindor. Oh, we got swords now. Hey, what do we got? It's a seven. That's like one card in there. Did I get, get short changed? <laughs> okay, let's see. Hope oh, we got more oh, tokens. We got tokens. Oh, so there's gonna be some cards that need tokens, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I got some. Ooh, oh, it's big, longer. Yeah, these look like bigger rules. Okay, but I do. I did open these digitally. I do have the PDF ready here. Actually, uh, here I have it. So the objective, the objective of this one is destroy the Warcruxes, defeat all the villains, and Lord Valdi before they gain control. of of all the locations. Okay. Location cards. Use only the game. Seven location cards. Stack in order. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, four locations. Oh, another Voldemort. Oh, no. Like just, just keeps getting stronger yeah, and stronger. I, I keep trying to remember to take out the other one and set the new one up, and then now they give us another one. All right. Okay, locations are set in order. Yep. Um, but thankfully, we are only starting with one uh dark arts thing oh that's my character so oh. that's good godric's hollow okay okay it's not a lot of control tokens to be put there one two three four five six shuffle all the dark arts cards together there are more even uh, hold on hold on hold on what Okay, oh. all right. Even though those are the... You got a new deck? Maybe those are the cruxes. Okay, here's... Here, I shuffled these. Now you can shuffle them into the joint deck. Oh, that didn't do anything. All right. Yeah, take your time. Shuffle it good. I will. Because we don't want... We don't we want them nice... All those extra ones that draw into more ones... Uh, more um, dark arts cards. We want those to be all Separated. nice and spread out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lord of Voldemort card. This replaces the game five and game six Lord Voldemort cards. Place face up at the bottom of the villain stack. Okay, so get this one out. You're out. You're in. Okay. And we can shuffle these villain cards in a sec. I just don't know if they're giving us more. Uh, all right. Hogwarts cards. Shuffle all Hogwarts cards together. Reveal the top six cards. Yeah, I think there's only new one. Yeah, there's only one. Is that right? I don't uh, know. Sometimes it tells us. Oh, oh yeah. no, these are just the steps. Oh, one Hogwarts card. Yeah. Oh, duh. Yeah, it says on the left. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yep. Okay, we need to find that sword in that yeah, big giant to, deck. We need to stack the deck. I did shuffle this, so that's weird that they only gave us one card. Good thing I shuffled before, so I can just kind of do some quick little mash and whatever, and then uh, we can cut it right there. Hopefully the sword is right in there on the top now. Well, maybe not, because it was expensive, so. Uh, four here expert hero cards. These replace the game three hero cards placed above your player board, oh. and they're new! Okay. Oh, nice. All right. We're really leveling up. So, we got Ron, the one I was playing with. Now replaced. Oh, all heroes instead of... Okay. One hero. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, I like it. That was mine. I bet it's going to be all heroes. Yep. Yep. All heroes gain money. All right. When you play four more spells, so not too different. Just a little, little tiny power bump. Little, little, little power nudge. Okay. Okay. Good to know. All right. All right, we finally got there. We grew up. We have real real abilities now. Not those child abilities we had before. Uh, okay. 
And then there's Hor Horcrux cards. Stack an order face up in the center of the game board. See below next page. I see six. Six. Okay. Let's see what it says. And then we need to punch out these tokens. Oh, I can do that. Okay. It says, oh, I see. Okay. Stack in. Oh, I see. One of six, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And these will be stacked in the middle here. And if you shuffle the enemies already? I did not yet, no. Yeah, just reveal. I'll go over these cards in the market, but I just don't want to forget. And we'll set these up because it could change things. But I think I'll probably keep the same abilities last time. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay. And these tokens. Okay. And then you're done with villains. Okay. Okay, we're going to put these three out. We can look at any ones that are new. Yeah, we'll look at them in a sec. It's no, fine. they're all not new. Okay, information on Horcrux cards. You get the name, the game identifier and order, the effect, the to destroy, the dice roll or rolls needed to destroy the Horcrux. Reward, a bonus ability for the hero that destroys the Horcrux. Before any attack can be assigned to Lord Voldemort, all six Horcruxes must be destroyed in addition to defeating all the villains. Okay, we might only be taking one attempt tonight. <laughs> If this is going to stretch it even more, we'll see. We're getting into it pretty quick, but still. It depends how fast we lose. And we might scoop if it's looking really bad. Just so we can try again, but... Yeah, <laughs> here I'm thinking we'll do two places, but I keep forgetting. It does keep prolonging the game, and I don't want to rush it. I want to, like, take my time and, you know, make sure we, we make the right choices, you know? So we need cards that let us roll the dice. Yeah, that's uh, a little nuts. All right. You can attempt to destroy a Horcrux at any point during the game. You do not have to wait until Lord of Voldemort appears to start destroying them. Okay, good tip. Okay, so this example one here says, each time a hero plays an ally, that, that hero loses a health. Oh, that's happening all the time right now? You piece of crap. Oh. We have now more ongoing effects that are being annoying? That's annoying. Well, this is, if we can get rid of this one fast, that's not terrible, because we don't usually have a lot of allies until later, as you buy them. But to destroy it. So you have to get a roll of a heart or the card draw. Right. And then a reward. You get a reward when you do beat it. So if you play two or more allies, any one hero gains so, two health. But is that like on the turn you defeat it? Yeah, I was going to say, is this, does this stay out somewhere? I don't know. Let's, let's find out. Maybe they'll have rules. Prepare your hero. Replace your game three hero card with a more powerful. Remember? You still begin only with your starting 10 card deck. No one said this would be easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't give us any new cards for our starting craptastic deck. But, uh... All right. Same four steps on your turn. But now it says, reveal and resolve a dark arts event. Resolve villain and horcrux abilities. Each horcrux has a game effect that will trigger when certain connections are met. Many will be resolved during step three. Step three, play Hogwarts cards and take hero actions. So we have to remember when we're doing our turn, we have to keep pay attention to what's happening on the Horcrux cards now. Okay. Okay. Before you can assign any attack to Lord Voldy, all other villains must be defeated, and the six Horcrux is destroyed. This is like epic, man. Destroying a Horcrux. To destroy a Horcrux, you must acquire and play cards that let you roll the house. What if they're all at the bottom of the deck? Wow. I hope. What if? What literally? Like some. Like games we don't have any out right now. Yeah. Like what happens? We just gotta dig. So that what means we gotta we buy crappy one? card. Yeah. To dig for cards that we can hopefully roll on. Oh, what happens if we only find like one in a whole oh, game? Oh, the serenity now. <laughs> you lose. Oh, look. Yeah, exactly. Look, look. <laughs> the first few Horcruxes only require rolling a single symbol, but later ones require a combination. Oh, yeah, because it says to keep these. Oh, it says the to tokens. use these as reminders of which die have already been rolled. Oh, so you don't have to do it on the same turn. I was thinking, like, man, you have to have these cards line up so you have that many dice rolls on the same turn. Okay, I was thinking hard, harder than it is. Okay. <laughs> Even so, it's still difficult. Uh, when a die roll is assigned to a Horcrux, heroes may not also claim the effect. So oh. you, I mean, we roll the die a lot and we're like, oh, there's a heal. I don't need to heal right now. I was Even looking for so. a card draw. You know, instead we just assign it. That makes sense. So it does make the rolling suckier. Yeah, because now you don't even get the bonus from it. Once all the symbols required to destroy a Horcrux are rolled, the active hero collects a card. You gain an ability that you may use for the rest of the game. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh. That's good then. Okay, okay, there's a like a balance to this. 
The other card that I'm seeing is very, very good now is that one that lets you roll any house die. Yes. That's like the probably the, the book. The book, whatever that book is called. That yeah. is now the one that went up in value huge. Uh, yeah, sorry I talked bad about the book before. Uh, <laughs> I, I apologize, book. I would like to go on the record, book. I apologize for my statement. And, I purchased uh, the book quite a few times in the earlier games, yeah, not yeah. last one. I made it work when I had the engine for it. It makes sense, but... That is true. And after you roll, you can choose to either take the effect yeah. or assign it based on if we need it for one of the True, others. yeah. Okay, so this makes sense now. No, Horcrux cards are stacked face up in order. As soon as one is destroyed, the next one becomes active immediately. For example, the diary is the active Horcrux. You play Professor McGonagall, lose one health for the Horcrux effect for playing an ally. When you roll the Gryffindor or die, you roll a card, uh, draw a card, and choose to apply the result to destroy the diary. Instead of all heroes drawing a card, collecting the Horcrux card. Now, if you play two or more allies in a turn, any one hero gains two health. The ring immediately becomes the active Horcrux. If you assign two or more attack to a villain, you will have to lose two health. Whoa. We're also playing blind, so we don't know what any of these six do, and we're probably going to make builds that are going to hurt us. It's fine. So it's going to be funny if we have to play it a second time, we'll have more knowledge. End of game. Horcrux are destroying all the heroes. Okay, so yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, villains control. We'll read that after. So same kind of victory conditions, except for we have to clear the, the Horcruxes. I'll just leave that there, and then... Okay. I'm excited for this epic yeah, this is cool. battle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I say we're going to play two, and then I like... All of a sudden I see it and I'm like, no, we no. We might. I want to take my sweet time unless we, this deck. Unless, yeah, like we need dice yeah. and if we can't find them. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can do uh, about it. Okay. Okay, so who's going to go first? Sorry. Uh, well, Please. let's check oh, what yeah. we got here. So our first villains are this guy. Fenrir oh, okay. Greyback. Heroes cannot gain health. Ooh, okay. I hate that guy. Oh, and he's with this guy. Yeah, this is a bad. This is a bad combo. Bad. And we're going to start losing two health active here every turn. And then she says, if you want to buy more expensive cards, you also lose health. So, uh, hmm. Hmm. So we're going to be stunned quite a bit in the beginning, which, yeah, which is going to put... way back. Yeah, which is going to put... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to be in trouble there. And then that control. spills into drawing more of these, and then we're like, we lost. So we need to try to get this card. That would be a good card to get. But it's six costs, so it's going to take a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Gain an attack, remove thing from location, draw a card. Yeah, of course, it's maybe amazing. I, maybe but... I might be able to get six with the extras. Uh, what's this one? Oh. Expectio, whatever, whatever. Let's see. Oh, it's cheaper. Patronum, Expecto Patronum. Attack, remove a thing from location, but no draw a card. No draw but a card I mean, it gets it started. Uh, Quidditch gear, we all know Quidditch gear. Gain attack and a health. I like this one a lot as well. Again, That's the block. Six cost. Uh, Perfectus Totalis. Gain one attack. Choose a villain until the start of next turn. Oh, this is the mute. Yeah, it's mute, the mute button. The duct tape one. Put it over the mouth. Keep them, shut yeah. them up. They can't yell spells at you. Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, gain of money. You may put items you put on top of the deck. Okay. It's a cheap one, but it's like just gets you a money. I don't know, man. I'm not really a fan of those ones. And we have... Oh, yes. Don't forget to put the box seven. Thank you. Thank you. Or on screen yes. so people can oh, see. Beautiful. Even though we do have it uh, I know, on I know. the thumbnail, That's but true. you're right. Even yeah. though we should maybe keep it like on screen. For this one, yeah. It's not as important for this one because people click on it knowing it's game seven. It's the only game we're playing. Like we're not playing game eight after this. We're not going back to six, you know? But, but yeah, still a good. good idea. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Stacey. Stacey is the thought that counts. I appreciate it. Because <laughs> again, I did People not... are still going to come in and ask. I even know. though it's on the thumbnail, they're going to come in and say, what, what? episode is this yeah or... but i didn't remember to do it so yeah good call good yeah call. thank you uh so we have this ally here gain two money if you play another ally also gain two health yeah i could see this one because it's two money on a card <laughs> yeah I, I might, and might getting it early now yeah so now now clearing stuff out just gotta think of what's best there and like make it happen now i think we still have our um our cards from last time yeah now is there, just asking you, is there a benefit now of taking the one that if you acquire a card with a die, it's one cheaper? Like, is that helpful now? If you or, want to do it, but I, I don't I, think I do, but I'm but, just. But isn't gaining money the same thing, but more flexible? Yeah. So, like, if you earn extra money, then it's like. Yeah, and I was able to work this almost. But every wasn't turn. there something else to it? There was like another ability on it. It wasn't just. Oh, you could re roll, I think. Oh, one Which now might put that up in value. If, if you're, you're looking for, sp for specific 
I don't, I don't know. know. I really he... like this one for you last time because you were able to discard. You were always getting extra money, and I was getting money and drawing cards. So like my turns were just accelerated. Yeah, no, and, I like and it this card. To, like it leads to this. No, no, watch. It, it leads to this. So right here, like six, five, six, four. Like we're already four stacked of like we couldn't shouldn't be buying those yet because we shouldn't be able to afford them. We might be able to do some trickery. Yeah, I'm hoping I can. Exhibit A trickery. Okay. Yeah. Like, these are the kind of things. But there was other ones for money generation. Like, go ahead and look. And if you want to switch, go nuts. No, uh, the only thing I was going to say... But a discount on a specific type of card versus an extra money? Mm, I think extra money is just more flexible. But also, the re -roll, I think it has a reroll, too, so yeah, I don't yeah, know but if... Yeah, rerolls suck. You just get the same result, and it's like, that was worth nothing. That is true. And I don't think for me, I still think this works for me, and I can make this card work. So okay. it was only if you don't like yours. So quick, quick rerun. You choose to change, just just say stop and, and you'll take it, okay? Okay. Recap. Once per turn, you may discard five. Uh, influence, if you do, remove a, a, a thing from the location. No. But that means you're not buying a card. That means you're not doing anything else. But late game. Late game is good. Yes, but... that could be the get you out of jail card when you're throwing all that money away because you don't want to buy new cards, but then the game's getting out of control. You're able to like kind of slow it down again. I also see that there's cards that remove location tokens, so yeah, we're that's, fine. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, true. Uh, each time you play an item, you may look at the top card of your deck and choose to leave it on top or discard it. No. Nope. Herbology. Uh, if a hero gains three or more health on your turn, that, that hero draws a card. Each time you acquire a spell, any one hero gains a money. Mm. So it's like one money a turn. But at the beginning, and then once I stop buying yeah, exactly. cards, it's not so good. Okay. Uh, arith arithmancy. Arithmancy. Oh, this is the one I was talking about. Cards yeah. that let you roll the house die cost you one less to acquire. Each time you roll a die, you may choose to re-roll it once. Okay, no, we won't. If we lose, and this is the reason why, maybe I'll purchase it, or I'll switch if we have to play again. So, I don't think so. Potions, ability. If you play at least one ally, item, and spell, too situational. Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, defense against the dark arts. Each time a dark arts event or villain causes you to discard a card, you gain something from it. No. Nope. So, uh, what I would say is the one you have is awesome. This one can definitely be the play. Okay, so we'll but keep this it is at... like late game. Yeah. If like the game gets out of control, this could save you, but the game could get less out of control if you build yourself a better foundation. So this is like a kind of like if the game works out, so you're at the point you have tons of money and you can kind of fight things off. But if the game's already out of control, it's too late. I'd rather have an ability that starts infusing into the foundation of my engine and my win condition right from the beginning. Right. So that I don't get into a situation where I care about an ability like this. That's how I, I like to play. But okay, so we'll keep the ones me. that we have. If we lose this one, maybe we'll reassess I, based on I why we lost. I don't remember what mine was. Let me check. <laughs> Once per turn, you may discard an item. to Search your deck for a card of value five or less and add it to your hand. Yeah, so this was good for you too. Then shuffle your deck. Yes. You got to get the juice, yes. and then you got to search for it. Get the juice! <laughs> and we need um, Harry Potter Gandalf as early as we can. And then whatever that sword was, because we didn't read it, but it looks good. The sword's going to be like the bottom of the deck, unless I cut it really good, then it's and in like, like the top yeah, half. Yeah, covered uh, it to we'll the see. top. Okay. But we can't really afford it yet, kind of. I think it was seven. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? I, I don't care. What, what are you feeling? Uh, I don't know what my hand looks like, so... I mean, I can go first because potentially if there's any way to give you extra money on your turn, that's a benefit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm drawing a card. I'm always down for that. Yeah. Uh, James says, Horcrux really puts a distraction in the game, and if you do not draw any dice rolling cards early, they can really hurt your mid-game. Yeah. 100%. We're, we're already talking about that. We're already that. worried about that. We're already we like, what the any. hell? Yeah, we're like, we can get screwed on this. And the problem is, is if you don't, if you only see maybe one or two, maybe you see a bulk and an ally, right? You You play it. Then it's got to get through your deck again. So you don't want a big deck because you want to be constantly rolling those. Unless you just Unless laugh you... at that because you have this thing here and you're like, ha, 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 I'll just pull it out of my deck. Especially if you get the book because I think the book is only four. four yeah, it is. So, okay, so I'm going first. I think some of the allies are uh, five or four. That I think have so. a die on you're them right. too, but yeah. most of them are expensive, I think. Yeah, some of the teachers. And Mike says, that's a full day of Hogwarts, Rob. Yes, <laughs> I, I know. Are you sick of it yet? N no. Okay. I, I want to get back to the video game for real, but I'm glad to be playing a board game. Of course. Like, of course. I'm glad to be playing I've been this. excited for this all day. We're scheduling more of this for the weekend. We're playing the expansion stuff this weekend, so 
It's like, yeah, Rob's Hogwarts table uh, for the next couple of weeks, probably. We'll see. Oh, obviously, with a sprinkle of Skyrim. With a sprinkle of Skyrim. <laughs> maybe if Mel does get through the painting, uh, maybe some solo Dark Souls board game. Maybe, but no, oh, yeah, pre no pressure on you. But people are already asking about it today. Where is it? So, I I heard. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I know. I know. I I heard, and I heard you. Standing up for me, thank you so much. Standing up for you. <laughs> I, I wasn't there to. The I wasn't dope. there to defend myself. I am going. You're not defending yourself. I was explaining open and honest. Like you, I know. you have stuff to do, and uh, yeah, have... painting is not the number one priority here. But I like to play my games painted. It's fun. And Mel likes painting. I think. I do. I do. I do. Um, yeah. yeah, I it am. Just almost asked done. a question. When are we going to play it? I said I can't give us all an answer because Mel's still painting it, and painting is like a. I don't know. You think you can paint. 10 minis in an evening and then all of a sudden you realize I have only painted three because I ended up taking more details and drawing and couldn't figure this out and whatever and it's like distractions come up too. Exactly. Mike says they keep asking. Mel will get it done at exactly the right time. I know, right? That's the answer I need to give. Yes. I, yes. It'll be played when you see it scheduled. That's what I like to usually say. Like, <laughs> oh, do you see it scheduled on the channel? No? Then I have no idea when I'm playing it. I am almost close <laughs> enough at least that you can start. I know, I know. So, yeah, for yeah. that box. Okay. True. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we got to draw. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to sleeve all this stuff up when we start going with expansions if we have to use these same cards. Because, like we were told earlier in the playthrough, like the starter cards are getting oh, kind of worn even, out around yeah, the edge. I don't even look at that. But I don't really care, whatever. It's like, doesn't change for me. But yes, I probably will sleeve these up. It getting worn like when we played uh, Lord of the Rings Rears and Miller so much that like I had to, like the Legolas cards were like all worn because I kept using them over and over again. Oh, I can buy that thick cost card right off the hopper. Okay. Do it if it gets uh, one, two, more cards three, four, five. Uh, if you play four or more spells on your turn, all heroes gain one influence. So I gain six. You gain one. I'm not going to do this ability because I just want to spend all six to get the um, card here that's going to let me gain one attack, remove one control from location, and draw a card. I think that's a good one to get going right off the bat. Okay. Oh, I skipped everything. You always do. I just got super excited. You always do. Sorry. Rewind. Rewind. Take all that. Whatever. Take that just back. do it. Sorry. Just fix your I got mistake. super excited. Sorry. <laughs> Active hero loses three health. Okay, that's fine. Uh, reveal another one. Oh, that's a good Oh, one. here we go. Uh, all heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. I don't have an item, so I'll lose two health. Oh, don't stun me, please. One, two, and then one. Okay. I don't know. Should I lose an item? It's like one attack. I'll be giving up one attack. Is that one attack the difference of like an extra couple rounds of this idiot, or is it not going to matter? I mean, um, I don't know. What two health, tell you. like, I, I, like location tokens on there is annoying. But I, think I have a card I'll, that can remove one. I'll, so. I know. I'll, I probably could be able to buy this one because you gave me money. So, uh, and I can search this one up if needed to because it's five or less. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just lose the two health for now and risk it. Okay. But it's going to be a long time before we can heal or whatever. We're definitely going to get knocked out or whatever. So here, each time I play uh, ally, I lose a health. I don't have any allies. Can't gain health. Active hero loses two. And then each time, okay. So then I'll do what I just did. Purchase that for six. And then Karen, uh, Karen says I have to lose one health. And I am done. Sorry, I just got excited when I saw my hand of all. Fox the Phoenix. Okay. And it's good to attack on a single card. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Dark card. Mm -hmm. I guess I can put these out for now. All heroes lose a health. Oh, gosh. I'm almost Add stunned. Add a control to the location, please. I'm going to be stunned on my turn. That's crazy. Uh, I haven't played an hour. Uh, uh, I'll look at this later. I wish this was like kind of a different order, but uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, so I will play this card, gain an attack. Here, I'm sure it'll get healed anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I'm at five. I will just buy. I guess I'll get this one. 
I want her just for buying cards and having an ally. Take whatever you want. But, because but I I'm can... not always going to have five on the first turn of the game. So, I, like, this will get attack flowing and remove stuff from location. And it's a card I can search up with my ability. So it gets something possible. To oh, keep. yeah. Did you lose two health from this one? Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, yeah, sorry. Whoa. Yes. It's okay. Takes a second to get in the flow. Yeah, definitely. Sorry. Yeah, I thought passive, passive. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, this is not passive. And then you took the health for Then I lose the health for her because I okay. just bought that. Mm -hmm. And then this, I never played an ally, so we're good, right? Right. Yeah, this is why I want to take it slow. And this is why I'm saying <laughs> playing two tonight is probably not going to happen because I want to, like, take our time with it. Let's not rush. Because if we rush, we'll make mistakes. And I don't, I don't want to win with like a, oh, we skipped this guy six times, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is gone. I spent my money. All that stuff's gone, right? Okay. I'm already like in Stun City over here. I'm already going to be stunned as well. A Quidditch gear. Mm. Okay, I do like those. Okay, uh, so my turn. I want these fun cards. Uh, active hero loses one health. Reveal an additional. Oh, I hate those. Okay, so I'm stunned. I'll draw additional in a second. I have to discard all tokens I don't have any. Half of my hand. Two cards you got to get rid of. One and two. And then add a control token. Okay. And then I have to reveal an additional. So I guess it won't hurt me, but. Yeah, it won't hurt you. But so. is the attack important? I don't know. Uh, the active hero loses one health and cannot assign more than one attack to each villain. Okay, I can't lose any health, and I don't have any attack anyways. I'm going to shuffle and draw, so I don't know. Um, that's fine. I can't lose two. Okay. I think what I'm going to do first is, uh, discard two spells. If you do, all heroes gain one influence and draw a card. I'm hoping... Elvis draw card? Uh, yeah, yeah, all heroes. Yeah. I'm hoping for that one I purchased. I mean, I don't have good odds of that happening, but. Yeah. Gain one. Uh, so I could gain two, or all heroes gain one. And I think all heroes gain one influence. So you gain one influence. And then I'll spend three. Just purchase a Quidditch gear for some attack and health. You gain one influence as well. Did we add enough control tokens? I don't know, James is pointing that out. Uh, yeah, so... Active that hero, one's only if you get stunned or something. Active hero loses three health. This stuns a hero. No, that didn't, didn't happen. No. This one's added one, which I said on my turn. And then you and got stunned, which added another. So I think we're only at two, right? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we should be okay, but let we me know only if... only added for stun. Well, we have two there. I added one for stun, and I added one on Rob's turn. Did I have added for something else? I don't think so. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good? Okay. Yeah. No, James. Hey, no, man. please question. Thank you. No apologies needed. I appreciate it. I appreciate it for sure. Only two. Okay. Only two, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still easy to track. James is trying to make us lose. Come on, James. James. <laughs> <laughs> James working for this guy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, no. We I brought to you, James. James is the referee. I want a clean game. <laughs> I want a clean game. No shenanigans on either side. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, dark arts. Dark arts. We're gonna remove. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Heal him for two. Uh, yeah, eventually, it would show up. Okay. Well, we need to start it's getting some attack going. Not two, two, you know, like yeah. whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, two. and I heal at the start of my boom, turn. Boom. Sorry if you're yelling at me. End of my turn. No. Lose two. Then this, maybe. Okay. So I'm playing. Each time I play as an ally, I lose a health. So, sure. I'll play this ally. Lose a health. Uh... I will do this. You may discard an item to search your deck for a card with value of five or less. So I'll get that card that I bought. Okay. Shuffle. I think they're all the same card. Oh, no, they're not. Whatever, whatever. Shuffle, shuffle. I'll draw them all anyway, I think. Um, and then that, yeah, that made me lose the health, right? Okay. And then I'll gain an attack. Move uh, control from location. 
And then four more money. So I'm at five. I think I'll spend the five for Fox the Phoenix at spend this point. Spend your token though before you get stunned. Spend my token before this one. Oh yeah, yeah. The oh yeah. If I buy an expensive card, I get I get stunned. Yeah, which you won't have any cards to discard. Oh, that's good. And then. we'll just add it to control. control. It's fine. Just yeah, make sure you use everything before. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll buy Fox the Phoenix, and then boom, I'm stunned. Whatever. Um, down to here. This is gone. You out of control. And I'll reset my health at the end of my turn. Uh, incendio, attack and draw a card. Okay, okay that's not reasonable. bad. All right. All heroes lose one health and add one control to the location. Lose one health, add a control, three out of six here. Okay. Uh, can't gain health. Active hero loses two. Uh, I don't have any um, allies, so that's fine. Let's first start with this one. I gain an attack, remove one control, back to two, and draw a card. I will discard two spells. Um, if you do, all heroes gain one influence and draw a card. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. That's four which I think is all I need to be at. Uh, this says, oh, this is game one. <laughs> uh, the op games is here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for publishing this game. It's got us hooked, you <laughs> buggers. Uh, come to die, Voldemort oh. boys. Hope you all enjoying Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Been fun watching these mods. Thank you for producing the game. We appreciate yes. it. Definitely yeah. interesting, yeah. Uh, for sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We'll be playing the expansion starting this weekend. Yes. Yeah, thanks for publishing the game. We appreciate it. Um, okay. Did I gain the one? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, you may... Oh, I sh No, I couldn't have done that first, so that's fine. Uh, you may put spells you acquire on the top of my deck instead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... You afford this? The sh yeah. The shut up this guy card that yep. can stop If that I played four or more, which I did, uh, all heroes gain one influence, which should put me to six. Yeah! Which then I can. Don't forget to take a, a slap from Dolores. Six. This goes on the top of my deck. Awesome. Because of this, I lose a health. Yep. And we're good. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Your hero for four spells. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we got Cho Chang has shown up. Uh, draw three cards and discard any two. Oh, we, oh, we have a die, we finally. Got a, we got a card that rolls the die. Oh, All right. man, we're, we're good. We're, we're ready. Watch out, Horcruxes, we're coming. Okay. All right. One, two, three. So I drew my hand. This is my hand. Oh, I didn't spend my attack. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't usually have attack. Thank All you, right. thank you. <laughs> uh, here we go. Dementors Kiss. Active hero loses two health. All other heroes lose one health. Okay, this one. One, two. Uh, two more health. Boom, boom. Oh, this is a terrible lineup of... I know, but as long as we keep removing from here, we buy ourselves, like, a bunch of time to get going. Yep. We just hope the he the healing stuff doesn't come sweeping uh, this off every every time. We'll yep. see. Okay, uh, let's see here, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Money. Uh, okay. Six money, really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could have buy two allies. That gets the dice going. Or I toss this, pull a card, remove a control, all that. But I don't think no, I need to. No, right get the now. allies going. I think that's good. If we can get rid of this as well, it's not yeah. going to hurt you. I'm just going to go for the money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six money. Uh, so I'm at eight already. Where's that Dumbledore guy? Where is he? So she's gonna hit me twice though, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, where do I get one of these first? I can't heal yet, but she'd be awesome too. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for these two, unless you're buying spells and it works with your spell stuff. I, I am buying spells, but I mean, I can buy something else too, so. I think I'm gonna go with these two. Like the Butterbeer's not terrible. I don't, just because it can give us both money and boom, boom. At least health. Two. Once we're allowed to heal again, but. Eventually we won't need a lot of money once we can get a couple dice cards in our decks. I'm just digging for those right now. Mm. Oh, another one. Yes. Bruce Wayne. A young Bruce Wayne has shown up. Gain one attack. I roll the... Uh, I still am so bad with the house names. Who's what color? Final Gryffindor is the red, right? Slytherin's a green. Hufflepuff? Hufflepuff's one of them. I don't know the I don't know the though. colors, though. I'm so sorry. I'm learning. I'm, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy to learn. Hopefully I'll get there by the end. Ravenclaw, right? Ravenclaw is the blue? That's yeah, my house, that's right? that's you. That's my house. So it's Hufflepuff, I think. Hufflepuff would be yellow, right? I think so. I will, I will assume by, by default a process of elimination. <laughs> Velcro no, it is. It's Velcro, it's Batman. <laughs> no, it's, Papa Papa's yellow. Okay, it's okay. Bruce Wayne Velcro. It's nothing to do with Twilight movies, okay? It's Bruce Wayne. Don't ruin this for me. Papa Papa's yellow. Perfect. Thank okay. you, I am. Thank you. Are you good? That was the end of your uh, turn. I'm sure. Sure? Alrighty. Sure, sure, sure. Active hero chooses another hero to lose two health and then reveal another one. Who are you going to choose? Uh, Not me. I'm at one health. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Oh no, you're gonna be stunned on your turn then. That sucks. Unless active hero loses one health and discards a card. Okay, lose a health, discard a card. Not this one. We're just gonna discard. Oh, we need the attack though, right? Maybe more worried about your ability. Don't forget, like, any one of your abilities that like pitches cards to do other things or whatever. Yeah, I, don't I need know if that's to discard helpful. this one. Yeah, it is helpful. Okay, uh, that is that one done. Uh, active hero loses two health. All right. Okay. Gain attack. I get to, if you'll pass me the shields, um, I get to choose a villain that we can. I think you only have one I because. Think, yeah, I think I only do. You. Uh, I guess we're just choosing this one. Unless yes, we're... please, or I won't get stunned. Or, yeah, for then sure. you, yeah. There's the possibility. Still... There's the possibility. I might still get stunned. Okay. Because if I play this guy, I would. Let's gather all the information first. Let's discard two spells. Uh, all heroes gain an influence and draw a card. Yeah. Gain one influence. Only need one more. So all heroes gain one influence. I will put my attack here and spend three. Hmm. Should I, I think I should value attack. And go for the Quidditch gear. I already have one. Maybe I just go. We can't heal right now, and I don't know how much more Plus money. You have. Can you afford this guy? If I, yeah, I could if I didn't give you one. Yeah, if I choose to gain or, dice rolling, but okay. if you don't want allies in your deck, that's understandable. I mean, one or two is fine. I just don't want like the spells are where it's at. Because it is but... an attack, and then the rolling might help get okay. some of this off. Okay, so then I'll, I'll I'll choose to gain two instead yeah, of yeah. all heroes gain one. So then I have four, which then I will use to purchase this ally, and then she says that I have to lose a health. And my ability I didn't play for. Okay. Well, Expel Aramis. I like this card a lot. Gain oh, to attack, draw a card. Yep. yep, it's good stuff. Okay. So I draw dark arts. Add a uh, control, add a villain control to the location. I see trickery. Anything wrong? Yeah. Uh, one sec. I do have to fix something. One sec. Oh, yeah, you're good.
Go on. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sorry. The camera was not lined up 100%. It was bothering me. Okay. So where were we? Uh, your turn. We added a control only. Added a control. Okay. Then I need to go through this. Oh, what's this? You're welcome. All right. So I'm not stunned yet. <laughs> yet. Uh, if I play any allies, I will be though. So let's do it properly. Oh, yeah. You can't roll a die, can you? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, actually, if I do the whole search my deck thing, right? Yeah, let me toss and how does this work? If I have no deck yet, you shuffle. I shuffle, but like this. But that's not in. I, I would assume that's not in the deck right, yet. Right, right. I mean, uh, yeah. Some games will tell you like place it in the discard first and resolve its effect, and it could get shuffled through. But all right. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I get to look through it. I don't know if I'm shuffling it yet. Yeah, I'll just take the one, the draw a card one. Okay. All right. I'll gain an attack, drawing a card. I'll gain an attack and remove a control from the location. I get four money. You will hurt me, and I'm stunned, and I lose these two allies. I do want it though. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could just go heavy attacks. I screw it. I keep these in hand. I well, don't... once you play an ally, you'll also be stunned. Yeah, I know, but so I'll lose cards. It just so it's depends like, on what you want to lose the money or the allies. Yeah, let's just uh, keep it rolling. Yeah, I'll lose the money. Um, so I will just play Pidgeon for an attack. That will stun me. Oh. Oh, spend your. Uh, yeah, so I got to spend these. Two. Oh, I see. Oh, so you'll lose the one money that you have as well. Yeah, this is a, no, this is a predicament you're in okay, here. I'm going to put this here. Okay, uh, so I play him just to get stunned. I lose this and this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I don't know the best way to do that, but okay. Then I get rid of half my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm adding a control. Yeah. Okay, then I'll play this guy. Gaining two attack. And then I'll just get a money, but it doesn't do anything, so I'm not even going to collect it. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah. Okay, done. Draw five cards. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna probably going to be stunned on my turn, too. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Oh, yeah, I'm back to full. Lose okay, a health. Okay, so that will put me to stunned. Scared half my hand. Uh, I need the attack to kill. Oh, that gives me the attack. So I could just do these two so I can still, we could still both draw. Oh, we can't draw. So then we'll do these. We can't draw. And then add a control. Okay. Uh, active here lose two. I cannot. And I don't think I'm buying any cards. So let's first do this one where I gain an attack, remove a control, and then I can't draw a card. That's fine. Uh, let's put this here. That will eliminate this guy for eight. Let's put these here so you can put them in your bin. Uh, all heroes gain two health, but we cannot gain health while this guy's out. And then remove one control from the location. On. Um, gain an attack and a health, can't gain health. And one influence. And this is our next worst guy, I assume, right? We can't heal. It is shutting off a bunch of heal abilities, which would make her thing not so harsh, that thing not so harsh, these cards not so yeah. harsh. So we'll go here next. But yeah. And then one, I'm not doing anything with one. 
Oh, uh, Matthew, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I know Kyle does sometimes talk in the chat. I know Justin pops in the chat. I don't know. Most of them are busy. They just lurk, watch sometimes. They pop in every now and then. Uh, Shamara pops by every now and then and, and chats in the chat, showing tech. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They, I think they just watch. Like, we have family and friends, too, that say they, oh, yeah, we watched you guys play that, but they just don't chat. They don't know you guys. Yeah. Some of them, and it's like, they're probably just watching on a TV chilling, like, and with their kids running around and their pets running around and stuff. So it's like they're not, like, got a phone up chatting too. I, I don't know. And we see them and we talk to them outside of the chat. So I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, probably because of you, Matthew, you, you know, you, you didn't put enough deodorant sometimes. And it's just, it's just awkward in the chat, you know, and it's like, I'm sorry to tell you, okay? It's all you. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, Kyle's a busy guy though. We are lucky we get him like one day a week. Uh yeah, so just let's not let's not push it, okay? <laughs> let's not push it, man. I healed back up to full and Oh, did you add a control when you're stunned? I think I did, did, and I removed a control with one of my cards. Yeah. Yes. You added and took away on the same I did. turn. I did. Uh we have Peter Pettigrew. <laughs> Active hero reveals the top card of his or her deck if the value is one or more influence discarded out of control. Okay. He's not the worst, but I mean as we build our deck with more cards, he becomes terrible. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Active hero loses two health. Why not? Why not? Ba ba. Okay. Uh, active hero reveals the top card of his or her deck. The value is one or more. It's not. You would discard it out of control, but we're good. Okay, I can't heal, and then when I buy stuff, I get hurt. And when I play allies, hello, I'm gonna get hurt. I also have, finally, I have a die that I can roll, so... Alright, well... Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna play this ally. I lose a health from the ally. I'm gonna draw three cards, and then uh, discard any two. If I craft a juicy turn here. Oh, well, these are all the same. I do want to do the toss and look. I can get my draw, attack and draw. But I could also buy. Uh huh. Won't defeat a villain this turn, so that's not great. Um. Yeah, let's just toss uh, these two. Okay, and then I get to roll the blue die. Oh, I don't have to put these here. We want we today, we want to Greg. Do, 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 do. Here. Card draw. Oh, we need card draw. I like drawing cards so much. Yeah, get rid of it. Okay. Boom. And then if I play two or more allies, anyone hero heals. Can't heal yet, because this idiot. Whenever... Okay, I have a screen. Oh, did I just find the one ring? Whenever a hero finds this ring, they have to take it to Mount Doom to destroy... What? No. Uh, sorry, whenever a hero assigns two or more attack to a villain, that hero loses two health. Okay, so if you spread it out, you're fine. It never ends. But then you spread it out, then the card comes up that heals two from everyone, and then you're just... You're just... You're messed up. And then the reward is interesting. Once per turn, you may discard two cards. If you do, remove one control from the location. I don't think we need to worry about that, hopefully, with the cards that we'll we see, have. Though. We might need but it to it get out of jail late in the game. But if things quickly... What about late in the game when you don't want to buy anything? You're holding a bunch of cards that generate money. Yeah, then Just this toss is good. them and do yeah. it. Like, it, gives, it gives them something to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we need a attack or an influence to get rid of this. So just remember, assigning damage, it matters. Okay. And I'm rolling the yellow. Okay. All right, I'm going to toss uh, the clean sweep, go into my deck, I grab, I'll just grab this attack to draw a card one. While you're doing that, sorry, Jacko, these tokens just are to help us remember when these become ands and not ors to remind us what we've already gotten rid of. Because they start off as ors, but I think it said that after it'll become ands. Gain an attack, draw a card. 
I'm going to gain an attack and remove a control from location, please. Oh, we got this under control. I'm going to gain uh, an influence, and for each ally I play this turn, which is only one, I'm going to gain an attack. Uh, then I'll just gain three influence. Map four. And this four. I'm going to buy this ally, which will hurt me from her. And then. Two or more to a villain? Mm hmm. Lose two health. Yeah, it wouldn't matter Half if dead. I could heal. I know. Okay, uh, next card. Choose one. Gain two money or draw a card. Reparo. Okay. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay. Okay, okay, enough of that. Whoa, I'm definitely getting stunned. Uh, active hero reveals the top card of their deck. It is a starter card, so we're good. Uh, okay. We're going to gain an attack. And we're going to roll the yellow die, and we're going to see what happens. This is the health die, which is not the die I want to be rolling for this, but maybe we'll get lucky. And we did! Cool. Attack, so I'll do that. So I'll spend this attack for the ring. So I will take this. Once per yep. turn, I may discard two cards if I do remove one control. Uh, let's get it. The next one's a locket. Heroes cannot gain attack or money on other heroes' <gasps> turns. Ouch. This breaks my... Yeah, combos yeah. This, here this for weakens you. us big time and this one you do need an attack and, and a heart a health so this is where you're going to use the tokens to track it unless you're rolling multiple dice on the same turn look at this also the reward for this is once per turn you may discard a card if you do roll the green die and that'll help you get rid of the next one yeah and stuff, so if you keep, don't yeah. have especially now that they're in so there is a way to get out of it if you can't find oh. one but i mean we couldn't even start the train unless we saw one die rolling card at least show up wow Okay, and Crazy. I cannot draw, so let's spend four. One, two, three, four. Um, I did play four spells, so all heroes gain one, but you cannot, unfortunately, so just I do. Um, what do I have here? Two, four, five. Let's put this here. Five. One shy of the six. Uh, I guess I could just buy the spell I mean, that lets me draw uh, or gain money. Yeah, so it kind that, of at least it'll replace itself later yeah. in the game when you don't care about gaining money. Yeah, okay, so I'll spend three. I don't have anything that puts it on the top of my deck. We'll do that. So you don't get hurt by her either. No. I'm not going to spend these two. I don't want that sp no, no. spell in my deck. Junk. I know I do want to see more cards, but unfortunately. No. Protego, gain an attack and a health. If you discard this, gain an attack. Oh, I do like that just because of the discard effect on it, too. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we discard a lot of cards. Yeah. Okay, okay. dark arts. For each card with a value of four more in hand, the active hero loses a health. It's one. Uh oh. Top uh -oh. card. <laughs> Costs nothing. All right, we're good then. Can't heal. And if I buy a card, I'm stunned. Okay, good to know. Can I defeat this guy so then I can I think he's heal? at five. So three more damage and he's done? Yeah. Okay, is all it, right. Is it doable? Yeah, I think we got him right here. <laughs> I'm going to send my bird army at him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, choose one, gain attack. Choose one, gain two attack. Assign set attack. Pa, 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 pa. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, that's enough. Okay, uh, boom. All heroes heal three. One, two, three. Full. Remove two from the location. Only have one. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Remember also that you uh, oh, assign three. I assign three or more on your turn. All heroes heal two more. That's fine. Oh, if you play two or more allies, any one hero. Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, gain two. Look at that. You were almost stunned and now you're almost full. That was a good turn. Three influence. 
I don't care. I don't care. I don't know, something else? No, I don't need to. Okay. Revealing our next villain. Trico Malfoy. Each time a control is added to the location, active hero loses two. Yeah, good oh. thing he was there earlier. We've been adding tons on there. That just like spirals into getting stunned, adding more, and then losing more health later. Yeah. Like, oh, it's just active hero, never mind. Yeah, so if you get stunned, you add it. It doesn't hurt the other hero. Yeah, never mind. Not that bad. But... All heroes choose uh, one, discard an ally, or lose two health. Boom, lose two health. I don't have an ally, so we're going to lose two health. Okay, we didn't add a token. Active hero reveals the top card of their deck. It is a starter card, so we're good. And, okay. I can draw cards, and I probably don't have any draw cards. Gain an attack. And I can put this on somebody. Am I buying a card that costs any money? Mm, probably not. Uh... This one is... This one I'm nervous about because if you do draw yeah. something, that yep. Yep, yep, yep. you don't want to discard it. No, that makes sense. Or if you reveal, sorry. Okay. And then gain an attack. It adds control, right? Yeah, so it's like maybe possibly something And I think it discards the card, But who too. cares about that part? No, I know, but obviously that would be a card that you'd likely want. But who cares? This all random just cycles from a deck. Okay. Um, remove? Could make it so I draw into something better that's five, six cards down instead of five. Like, you that's gotta true. look at... Look at the positives, Mel. Stop being such a negative Nancy. <laughs> that's true. No, I was trying to be positive. I'm just kidding. Uh, remove a control. We don't have any to remove. And then draw a card. What did you do? Oh, you're just drawing off card ability? Yeah. Gain Let me know if I need to draw. Gain an attack and a health. I will, um, I don't think I have one okay. uh, yet. I don't think I do. Uh, let's gain an attack. Who's our worst? I don't know. Is that the guy you covered? Or is it this guy? Like, I don't know. Is it hers? Stops hurting us? I don't know. Your call. You do whatever. And then I can gain one and one. I'm going to gain two influence this turn. Or attack we can put on someone. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. I don't know. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Two. I don't want to buy anything for two. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. And that was... Can I, okay, yeah. One, two, three. Active hero loses three health. Do not stun me. So I reveal an additional card. Add a control to the location. Please. Uh, no. No. No, not yet. Okay. I'm going to play an ally. Draw three cards. One. Two. Three. I should do my search ability first, but that's fine. Discard any two. Mm. Just these two. Roll the blue die. Oh yeah, Draco triggers. Or Draco. Oh, thank you. Uh, two health. health. Yep. Uh, I drew the money, but you don't get any on my turn. Mm. Or rolled the money. Not what we need. Dang it. I know. We need the book. Where is the books? Play another ally. Okay. All right. I'll just earn an attack. And draw a card. I'll earn an attack and remove a control from location. Uh, I'll gain two money. If I play another ally, also heal two. 
I've played two or more allies. I'll heal two. Uh, I'll gain an influence. Oh, what's this card? What's this card? I don't think it matters. I don't want to risk it on one card. I think in here is the card I would pull. Yeah, okay. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, I think it's the owl if I... Oh, no, that was there. I don't know what it is. Whatever. Okay. Uh, in one influence. And then... Um, for each ally I play this turn, gain an attack. So I played two. Uh, gain an attack if you defeat a villain. Also gain one influence. So I'm going to um, assign... This all here to defeat a villain. All oh. heroes may search their discard pile for a spell and put it in their hand. Oh, okay. And then remove one control from the yeah, but, but there, there isn't, is none. and that's, that's fine. One. Okay, so when I defeat a villain, I gain an, uh, another influence. And I get to search, what is it? Uh, all heroes search their discard pile. Know. Oh. That's okay. For a spell. Okay, whatever. I'll just take one of these. And then I'll generate two money. Okay, and then I'll assign two attack here, and then I have seven, I think, yeah, seven, which I think, go for this one, I do kind of want him just for ally synergy, but like, I'm, that's just like getting too much money maybe, and we already got this under control-ish. Mm-hmm. And like we're at the point where like we're not we're like killing things and not even getting any benefit. I'll just buy this, which will hurt me. Um. Oh, I assigned two or more, of the, three or more of this, right? So two health there. Me as well. Uh, all heroes, yes. Nice. All heroes, yes. Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Draw. Shuffle. While I'm shuffling, oh, yeah. reveal the next one. Uh, next card to the market is one attack and remove another from the location. Man, okay. holy, we're getting flooded okay. with that stuff. Okay, each time a dark arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, that hero loses one health. Okay. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more influence discard it and lose two health. Come on, start a card. Yes. All heroes are really the top card. I'm good. You're good. I'm also good. Perfect. Okay. Um, didn't make me discard. No location tokens were added, and we're good on that. Okay. Uh, I don't really have a great hand here. Gain an attack. You can draw cards still, you just can't get money. Correct. Okay, so then let's... Discard two spells. All heroes can gain uh, one influence. You can't gain that, but then draw also draw a card. Okay. You get to draw a card. I did. Oh, you did. Okay, sorry. That was so fast. I didn't even see. Um, I can't give you money, so I'll just gain the two. Mm -hmm. And then two more influence. Two, four, five. Five. Well, I don't really... Oh, I guess I want this one. Mm -hmm. For five. And then she says I have to lose a health. And I'm done. Kingsley Shacklebolt? Okay, uh -oh. yeah. Where are the dice rolling cards? Yeah, we, we, we have enough more. of the location control one. Yeah, yeah. We need... Yeah, we oh, need, I got a die roll here. Yeah, some dice roll. I know, but we keep missing, so it's going to take, like, extra long. But yeah. I guess this buys us, like, plenty of time. But it's like, man, I keep buying cards I just, just to cycle. The other problem is we don't know what his ability is going to do. Don't tell us. And if it's really bad. Oh, it said already. It, uh, oh, you're, I didn't see what it No, does. no, it didn't actually. I yeah, don't know. It's so probably it's just like, the rolling the die and doing something again. Yeah. I don't know. Usually it doesn't change that much. All heroes lose a health. Add a control to location. Uh, each time a dark arts cause discard. Each time a control is added, active hero. Oh, I'm down to one again. And yeah, what was on the <laughs> death what was door? Right on death's door? <laughs> okay, fun times. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
So I'm going to pitch this to do my ability to go in my deck and grab a card. Five costs or less. Hello, how are you doing today? Okay. All right. I'm going to play this, draw three cards. Get rid of two. In two money. Oh yeah, I forgot to roll the blue die. I forgot to roll the blue die. Oh yeah. That's a thing. That's a thing. Heart. You want to put it here? over there. Yeah. Yep. Sign it on there. Okay. We just need a lightning. Uh, or attack. Yeah. So then I played her again too. Okay. I'll play this guy after. Uh, if you play another ally, I also gain two health. This guy's gonna come in. He's gonna generate. I think actually, uh, can I get to three attack? No. I think he's just gonna give me two health. Mm -hmm. This car is gonna gain an attack, remove a control from the location, and then th three more influence. And a five. Hmm. One shy. Okay, I'll just assign that there. Five money, eh? I mean, it's not bad, but it's not. I need more. No, I can't. I can't do it. Active hero chooses another hero to lose two health and draw another one. Active hero loses two health. Okay. Uh, I didn't have to discard. I didn't add any control. And she is later. All right. We're going to gain an attack and we're going to roll the yellow die. And we're hoping for the one in six chance of attack. And we did not get it. So we're going to gain health. <laughs> oh, Serenity now. Okay. Uh, discard two spells. Uh, you can't gain the influence, but uh, draw a card. Ooh. Uh, gain an attack and a health. Gain one. We have controls influence. under controls. <laughs> gain one influence, and I might put spells on the top of my deck. But I only have... Hey, Bob. Nice to see three. you again. What are the yellow and blue die? Blue die is like the card draw more focused one. Yellow is heal. Yellow is heal. Uh, the red is money, mostly. And then... Green is attack. Green is the attack die. Yeah, we need the so book that lets us roll whatever well, die we well, want. Well, you're about to roll the green one, which is mostly attack. That will help. But again, oh. like at least another die rolling, but maybe it doesn't want to attack so after. These are going to go... Oh, actually, what do we do here? Two, four... Oh, we can get rid of this guy. Six. It's not the remove from the location? No. That's fine, though. Okay, and then I'm not doing anything with this three. I don't want that one. I just that's fine. Don't worry about uh, it. Actually, though, I could just buy the Quidditch gear or the butter beer just to get a card cycled through. Those are not the worst. Maybe that's Any one, two the heroes tap. gain money in a health. I, I know. It's, it's like, like, do we want the money? In the, yeah, I guess that's probably better. Like, like, I already have a Quidditch gear, so let's get a butter beer for the three. And it's not a spell, so. One, two, three. New villain is Tom Riddle. For each ally in hand, the active hero chooses one. Lose two health or discard a card. Yeah, he's my worst enemy, other than the I can't draw cards guy. I don't think I built the deck the same as last time where I was drawing like, oh, okay. Horn, Green diamond. Horus Slughorn. All heroes choose one. Gain uh, money or health, and then you roll the Slytherin die. Okay. Dark Arts card. You have to lose two health, Mel. And then I reveal an additional card. It's only card. fair. I've done that to you multiple times tonight. Uh, active hero loses a health and then add a control to location. 
Then I go across here for each ally in hand. I have one, the active hero. Um, he would make me discard a card and then I would lose a health. So I'll just lose two health going down to one. Mm, yep. Okay. And then. Hmm. Oh, I guess we'll start by. I'll toss an event uh, to just grab from the deck a uh, five cost or less card. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I will play that card, draw three cards. Hold on, unless I have a different order to do that. Nope. One, two, three. Drop it thing. Nope. I'll just drop my cards. Okay. Uh, then I will get rid of two. Let's get rid of these two. And roll the blue die. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. Uh, so I will give us each an. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right. Get rid that of that. That was one, one big chance, I think, too, right? On that? Yeah. Wow. Good for you. Yeah. So good for me. Such skill. <laughs> all right. Uh, reward once per turn, you may discard a card. If you do, roll the green die. Okay. At this, uh, let's just look at this one. It's oh, like, yeah, it's yeah. The cup. <laughs> Trophy that I don't want. <laughs> At the start of each turn, remove one. Oh, oh healing. healing I over hate and over. these. Yeah. Okay. We, we control their control tokens. Now they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll control your attack tokens. Oh, this is a way to roll the yellow die. Yeah. That's okay. Neat. Okay. So oh, we know what the next two man. are. One's going to be roll the other two color dies. That's what one's going to do. All right. Discard a card if you do roll the green die. Well, that's good. We're just sitting on an extra crap card, I guess. I'm not, so I'm going to gain two attack and draw a card. Oh, now I have a crap tax <laughs> Unless I need to buy one of these big, juicy bad boys. I want this one. Oh, I, I can give you money now again. Okay, yeah, yeah, now our now our synergies can flow. Oh, yeah, I'll be able to heal in a sec, maybe. Yeah, because that was annoying. Hmm. I'm going to choose all heroes to gain two health. And then if you play two more allies, anyone hero gains two health. I'll play this guy. Generate an attack. Oh yeah, I should play this first, sorry. Draw, uh, gain an attack, draw a card. Oh, gain two money. If you play another ally, I'll skin too. Well, I did that in order, so whatever. Um, Just like that, it's fine. Doesn't yeah. change anything except you get two health. Yeah, but like, yeah, I just got, I should have played the draw card before playing those two allies. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Then I'll gain an influence, and for each ally I played, one, two, three, four, uh, I gain an attack. Four. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna gain an attack. And then remove a control from location. And then I'll gain an influence. And then... Uh, do you need the influence or do you want to draw, roll the green die? I don't know. Okay, uh, do what you're doing first. Because, yeah, things might change. There's an influence there. There's card draw there. There is gain an ally from their discard. Don't have. Maybe yeah, I don't go for Tom Riddle. And maybe I just kill Tweedledee and Tweedledum mm -hmm. to get card draw, but I'll probably just draw into garbage. How much do you have? Uh, nine. Nine. I do want this guy for six, but I don't think I have enough to get there. Even with her, right? Because she'll give you one more? Yeah, that's mm. four plus one is five. Yep. Yeah. Not six. Because even tossing and rolling the die doesn't give me yes. more money. Yeah, I see. It does give me more attack, but... 
Uh, let's draw. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um. So six defeated. All heroes choose one. Gain two health, which I'll just do. Yeah, I'll do two because I want to discard get an pile. ally out of your discard pile. And this three. I think she's worse than these guys. These guys are not bad. Mm, sure. It's going to heal one of them. Yeah, but... yeah, whatever. And for four. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. So yeah, maybe I should have. Say I'll discard this to roll a green die instead. Yeah, that makes sense. Money. Are we good to put this here? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okie dokie. Next villain. Oh, I did assign three or more, so all heroes heal too. Okay. We're already full, okay. Active hero loses one health. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. At, oh, so this will be the start of my turn. Remove one attack. And then reveal this. All heroes lose two health and cannot gain health this turn. Okay. Active hero loses one health. I didn't have to discard, and we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. Let's do gain an attack. And we can put this on someone. Am I buying a card that. What do I have here? I'm going to draw a card. That it goes, I'll reveal it. It goes. So far, so good, we think. No. Let's put that here. I think is good. Gain an attack. We're going to remove a control. There is none. And we're going to draw a card. Uh, let's do... Oh, this works well now. Uh, discard two spells. If you do, all heroes gain one influence. And draw a card. Actually, I'll do that in one sec. But I'm going to discard these two. And this one says, mm -hmm. if you discard this, gain one attack and one health. I can't gain the health, but I can gain the attack. That, and then draw the card. Okay. Uh, I will draw a card. We're just digging for the roll dice, which we did not get. Any two heroes gain one influence, and we can't draw. We can't gain health. So one influence again for you. And then two more. And then all heroes gain one influence because they played four spells. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe I should have covered him, but that her, but that's okay. Oh, I only have five anyways. Okay. Uh three attack we're gonna put here. We're gonna spend five on this just so we can see more cards, put more spells in my deck. Fine. Take a hit. Take a hit. And done. Chocolate frog. Garbage. One, two, three, four. At this point. Five. Okay, I have to do this first. Sorry to remove one of these yep. at the start of your turn. Is it my turn? Uh, or is it... Yeah, I think that's the start. Like, oh, starting. yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, add a control to location. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, nothing. The middle nothing. villain is each time a dark arts event or villain causes you to discard a card. Lose a health. Lose a health. <laughs> okay, I'll start my turn. Gaining two attack. Oh yeah, these shouldn't. Oh yeah, these should be here. Yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. Duh. Wow, that's a lot. I know. That's why it sucked when it turned off the fact I couldn't give you money. Five money from this. And then I'm gonna gain an attack. I'm gonna sign this here to finish her off. All heroes gain an influence and heal two. I assign three or more all heroes heal two if you can. Sweet, I'm full again. Thank you. Uh, probably could have tossed one of these to roll a die, but yeah, we'll just say one of these cards I tossed to roll the die instead of um, gaining money for it, I think, because definitely don't need nine money, I don't think. 
Yes. I think like because the die rolling mechanic, I think I go for him, but like I really want this guy. But maybe I'll just go for that guy. Just yeah, get go attack for that. going yeah. to speed up villain destruction, but yeah. I mean, we're all, we are at four out of six of so this. Whatever. I'll so. say I roll the Slytherin die first because it could just get me more money or something and I change my idea. Attack. No. We each gain an attack token. Oh, yeah. She's gone. And that attack token will just get wiped anyway. I'll just put it there. Um, and then, yeah, I'll buy this guy. And I'm done. Oh, the book has arrived. The book has arrived. The book has arrived. Okay. Yeah, I, I cleared the health from this guy. Oh, yes. Okay. And we have the Death Eater. Oh, these guys. Yes. Each time, uh, Moore's More Day. I don't know how to even say that. Moore's More Day. Moore's More Day. Uh, like, it's one of those weird words, and my mouth doesn't work very well. Um, or a villain is revealed. All heroes lose one health. Okay. Uh, this goes away. You already cleared that. Uh, active hero loses one health and discards a card. Okay, what do I got going on here? Those will be my spells to draw. Oh, I think it's just this one at this point. Okay. Uh, each time a dark art, uh, I have to lose a health because I discarded a card. Okay, we're good on that. Active hero loses one health. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Gain an attack and roll the yellow die. This is the health die, so fingers crossed. Yes. Okay. So, boom, you get this. So you now have this ability. Once per turn, you may discard a card if you do roll the yellow die. Okay. And then this is now active. The diadem? At the start of each turn, if the active hero has at least one ally, item, and spell in hand, that hero loses two health. You need to get the card draw and the attack together to do it. Once per turn, you may discard a card. Yeah, to roll the blue die. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's gain an attack. Let's discard two spells. All heroes gain an influence and draw a card. Gain an influence. I think he's the worst neck or the next worst, mm -hmm. right? Cause the, especially because yep. there's two of them. Three money. I don't have four. Oh, I didn't play four. Yep. I'm one shy from the book I wanted, but that's fine. Lose that. Only you have the ability to reduce the cost of cards that let you roll the host. <laughs> <laughs> and I you know what then? I will do this. Sorry. I will just discard this mm -hmm. to roll the yellow die because I wasn't doing anything with the money anyways. Draw a card. Uh, yes, we're putting that here. Sorry. Okay. Done. Okay, at the I'm start of each me. turn, if the active hero has at least one ally, item, and spell, oh. yes. At least two health. Whatever. It gives me something to heal. And then, uh, all right, I'll draw dark arts. Active here, lose three health. It's not going to stun me, but I need to draw another card. One, two, three. Active here, lose the health. Reveal additional Dark Arts card. Oh, just like that. Now I have plenty to heal. <laughs> Active here, loses two health. All other heals lose one health. Oh, wow. That escalated just like that, quickly. Just like that, down to two health left. Get, let's get for talking smack. Then, you didn't reveal uh, one of these, oh, did you? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably knocked out if I did. No, I did not. Okay, then I lose another health. I'm down to one. And it didn't cause me to discard anything yet. Wow. Okay. Spicy. All right, definitely going to gain an attack. Draw a card. Uh... I will toss. Yep. I'll toss an event to do my uh, trans transfiguration ability. Oh, the Death Eater triggers himself? That seems weird. I don't know about that, but maybe. 
All right, uh, discard. Yep, there she is. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, then I play her. Draw three cards. One. Two, three. Choose and discard two. Uh, Oh yeah, roll the blue die, roll the blue die. Draw a card, yep, we'll both draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna pitch this card to roll the green die. Yeah. Oh, that yep, is... get rid of it. Nice. How? So I may get rid once per turn, discard a card if I do roll the blue die. Oh no. And the final, the that final Horcrux. At the start of each turn, active hero loses the health and cannot gain health this turn. Oh. To destroy it. We need to... Wow, yeah, you really need to have your dice dice on in check for this. Okay. We need to, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, okay. So then I am going to just toss this card to roll the blue die. Or draw. Card draw, yep. I'll just put them on the face so that it's hard yeah, whatever. to tell in that space there, yeah. Does it not Maybe. show the other two? Because I'd like to see. Oh, sure, yeah. That's yeah. great. Okay. okay. I thought it was too small. Okay. Then I'll play this. Gain to influence. And uh -huh. then I will play this. Gain to health. And then gain to more health because I played another ally. Gain to attack with this one. Gain an attack, and if you can remove the control from location, it'll gain an influence. And for each ally played this turn, I will gain another attack. One, two, three, four. One more attack. Eight. This is four. Yeah. Gonna put five here and kill this guy. All heroes draw a card. And I definitely assigned three or more, so all heroes heal two. Uh, the card I drew was a money. Three more right here. Okay, and then I think that's, oh yeah, I can buy for five, I don't, yeah, sure, I'll just buy the book, I guess. So you have one left over if you wanted to roll one of your dice. I did those already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Done that this turn. Oh, okay, sorry, never mind. I just don't know if I did the play two or more allies, any hero heals two. I don't know if I did that. I don't think you did. Mm -hmm. Because you healed two from the owl, from the character, from that guy, which is six, right? Okay. I don't know. Okay, draw five. Replace here. Loop in. Alrighty. Uh, reveal an additional dark arts event each turn. She is now the priority, and then we okay. got to do his ability. Uh, right we now. lose the health. All heroes lose the health. Okay. Okay. At the start of the turn, active hero loses one health. Okay. And cannot can't gain heal this turn. any health. Okay. And then we'll reveal this one, which is all heroes choose one, discard a spell, or lose two health. I think I'll probably lose two health. I'll discard a spell. I don't want to have. Oh, he's gone. Sorry. Go back. Rewind. Rewind. Um, what? I was talking about this. I thought I was oh, going to have to lose more. You're reading more. things that aren't even in play? How do you do that? Sorry, because I need to put these upside down. No, 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 no. Or you just make. I'm gonna upside. discard a spell. So, um, then, active hero loses one health, and I got draw an additional dark arts. Uh, active hero loses one health and adds a control to the location. Okay. Uh, let's do this first. Gain an attack. 
remove a control, and draw a card. Gotta remember I can't heal, can't heal. I don't wanna roll the yellow die. So, uh, let's do two spells discarded. Uh, all heroes gain one influence and draw a card. I will shuffle my deck. Okay. Uh, let's do any two heroes each gain one influence and a health. I can't gain the health, but you can, so I get influence and a health. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, did you gain health, right? Yes. Okay. Gain an attack. And I can't gain the health. Gain two influence. Four. Fine. Uh, I'm going to throw, I'm going to discard this card to roll the yellow die. We're looking for health on this one. We got money, influence, which is not one, so we both get influence. Uh, two attack. All oh, heroes gain a health, I can't. That's fine. One, two, three, four, uh, six, seven. And I think she's the next yes. worse. So he's gone. All heroes gain a health, I cannot. And remove a control, we don't have any. Okay, five. I don't even really need any of these. I think we're fine, so yep. I'm not going to buy I anything. Know, okay, and then I only played three spells, so I don't get that bonus. Start of the turn. Villain, 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 villain. What do we get? Barte Crouch Jr. Heroes cannot remove. Oh, <laughs> imagine he was there earlier. Sorry, just to c confirm, this one was this is at the start of your turn, and this was revealed after Rob's turn started. So I, yeah, correct. Like I figured that didn't trigger because at the start no. of his turn, he dealt with a different yeah. card. Uh, this was purpose, revealed later. This was revealed mid turn. So the ability says at the start of each turn, comma, active hero loses a health and. Cannot gain health this turn. So, like, uh, yeah, I don't think that would fire off. At, yeah, I don't at think all. midway. It looks like this whole sentence doesn't start till the start of a turn. So, because it was mid turn, I ignored the whole thing. I'm not going to like resolve part of it. So, on Mel's turn, you gained health. He did, but I didn't because he's the active, active hero. hero. So, now on Rob's turn, I can gain health and he cannot. So, let's follow it slowly, everybody. This is how I'm reading it. At the start of each turn, so if I reveal this midturn, doesn't matter. Then Mel's turn, she reads this. At the start of each turn, active hero loses a health and cannot gain health this turn. Not, yeah. Not all, active hero can loses a health and all heroes cannot gain this turn. There's no all heroes in there, right? Yeah, that's Are how I'm good? understanding it. That's how I'm ruling this based on what's printed on this card. I don't know if it's been errated or it's interpreted a different way or was meant to be different, but that's how I'm doing it because... I got to put some kind of like, I know this rules are like, you know, they're okay in this game, but um, I have to put some logic from my other more complicated card games to this to kind of keep it flowing. But that's how I rule it. Okay, we got it right. Okay. We're good? Okay. I think so, yeah. Um, so now at the start of your turn, did you already review? Didn't reveal anything. No, so, I went to go. Yeah, yeah. So I, I lose the health, and you can't gain can't, health this can't, turn. Active hero can't gain health this turn. Dark arts card tells me all heroes lose two health. We also can't. All of us can't gain health this turn. Oh no! I was hoping I could have. Okay. Uh, here can't remove stuff from location. I lose another health. Then here I need to reveal another dark arts card. Oh no! Oh, and what do you know? I lose two more health. Boom, boom. Good thing I have heal coming all over the place. All right. So let's start the party with a good old. I'm going to pitch the broom to do the search for the card. I'm going to grab a little card filtering buddy.
Okay. I'm going to play her, draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay, let's just do the usual pitch two. Okay. I'll roll blue die. Open for a heart or an attack. A card draw, I'll take it though. Okay, choose and roll any one of the host dice. Whatever the heart one is, yellow. I'll just roll that one. Or draw, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, be tough for this one. Yep. I'll gain two attack. Draw a card. Gain an attack. Draw a card. I'll pitch a card to roll the blue die. Card draw. <laughs> Can't get it. I'll pitch a card to roll the green die. Yes. Heart. Heart. Mark it off. All right. We only need an attack. Okay. I'm going to play this ally. I'm going to gain two influence. Uh, then I play two. Anyone hero, you can gain two health. We can't because of the one card. Oh, we're not allowed, nope, right? Yep. Neither, so but... order doesn't matter <laughs> no, there. Okay, good. perfect. Uh, these guys will just get me uh, three attack total. Okay. This guy, he'll get me two attack. And would heal me, but he's not allowed. And I'm not allowed to remove stuff from location, but there isn't any anyway. This one will give me an influence. And then for each ally I've played, I gain an attack. One, two, three, four, five. So five more attack. Wow. Then this card will just gain me an influence. Six influence. Finally, I'll buy this guy. Him in here, okay, and then attack time. Oh, yeah, I probably should look what these do for me. This healing, I won't get money. This one lets you pull something out of your discard pile. I don't know if you have an item. All heroes may search the discard pile for an item, put it in their hand. I mean, another attack, I guess. If I defeat a villain, I'll gain money, whatever. Okay, so, anyways, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I feel like, you know, you're a little kid. You know, let's say you're just a little kid. Let's say like the 80s, you know, you go to the, you go to the local, uh, you know, little variety store or whatever, uh, convenience store, whatever you want to call it. The, the, the trailer park's main office that sells also convenience items. And you're a little kid, you know, you, you get all the pennies, you know, for the penny candy or the nickel, the nickel candy. And you go with your little, yes, Neopet, penny candies, exactly. You walk up, and I feel like that little kid who's like, how many candies can I get? And you're, like, putting the pennies on the counter. Anyone? Anyone else experience that? You know, little, Yeah, little but kid? you know where I experienced that? At my brother's baseball game. Oh, like, they used to have, like, that little, like, shack that, like, a teenager worked at, and yeah. <laughs> they sold, like, penny candies. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, grosseria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I feel. Like, a little kid spending, counting pennies on the front counter, like, trying to see how much little tiny candies I can get in my, uh, the, the, Guy behind the counter to put in my bag or whatever, uh, or to pay for. <laughs> Woolworths. Oh, I remember Woolworths. I don't know what those are. Is it's that just candy? like a department store. Oh. It was like the cheap store. Uh, uh, at least in Canada and North America, I think it was like Woolworths was like the discount brand underneath Woolco. Oh, okay. I know Woolco. And Woolco eventually got like destroyed by Walmart coming to Canada. I know that part. Um, but yeah, pretty sure that's what it was. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, penny candies back in the day. <laughs> Matthew says, was that the ones I shoved in my pockets when no one was looking? Matthew! <laughs> Matthew! <What's>, uh, hey, shh. <laughs> First rule of shoplifting <laughs> oh, no. penny candies. We don't talk about shoplifting penny candies. Okay, so this one's defeated, right? Yeah. So all heroes may search a discard pile for an item and put it in their hand. And then remove two, but we, there is none, and we can't remove them anyways. Yes, there's a discard for an item put it in their hand. Okay. I gain an attack. If I defeat a villain, I also gain money. I guess I'll take the attack. But this yeah. money is useless. I don't care. Yeah. And then I have six more, which uh, let's just get, keep the party going. Take it and go. All the heroes, we can't heal, but we can gain a money. Again, I think that gives me three extra money, but I'm not going to buy anything, so. Okay. Uh, I think. 
Uh, or two extra money, who cares? Either way, I'm not buying anything. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be stunned anyways, I think. Um, oh, maybe not anymore. You got rid of the uh, one that would have... Okay, uh, shuffle. We'll Let's get you a new card. Oh, get your villains. Yeah. And the card, what's we got here? Oh, game six oh. card. The Illuminator. Remove two. Oh, yeah, we don't need that Yeah, stuff. I think we're fine with... Overloaded. Each time a control is added to the location, remove one attack from the villains. Okay. And then, oh, we can't draw cards. There he is. He there he up. is. Okay. Um. So at the start, you need to do this whole lose the health. Lose the health. And we can't. You can't heal this turn. Wonderful. Then I have to draw one of these, which hopefully doesn't make me lose another health. Roll the green die. You see. We'll see what happens. Health. That's Remove great. one attack from all villains. There is none. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Can't draw cards. We didn't add, and we can't remove. Okay. I didn't get stunned. Wow. I really thought I was going to. But you can't heal this turn, so you're going to get stunned eventually. That's fine. I think. But maybe I can then heal on your turn if I can make it. No, because I have no allies to get any of my heal going. No attack to get any of my heal going. Unless I draw. Nope. I have no card draw. Like this, Oh, we like... can't even draw cards because of this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, but anyway. my next turn is like the crappiest turn okay. ever. Like okay. Big, junk, big junk turn. I'm going to gain an attack. I'm going to roll the yellow die. We're looking for attack here. We're looking for attack. We got a health and I cannot heal. I can. You can. <laughs> uh, okay. That sucks. Let's do... What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing this. <clears throat> we're doing this. We're gaining an attack. And we're going to say, no, thank you. I don't have any card draw. You have card I draw? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Discard, discard two uh, spells. If you do, all heroes gain an influence and draw a card. But this card says if it's discarded, gain an attack and a health. I can't heal, but I can gain an attack. And I gain an influence and then draw a card. Okay, okay. my turn just got better if I have this in my hand to pitch, to draw, and a card draw. Yep. It could turn into a good turn, actually. Let's... As long as I don't get stunned. Do this next. I'll choose to draw a card. I'll just shuffle this up. Yeah. Well, Cyrus is dang Hogwarts Legacy looking like a card game now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. The future in the card game. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what you want. Hogwarts Legacy, the second edition, the card game. Gain an attack. Remove a control. There is none and we can't anyways. Let's gain an attack. Let's play two more spells. I have now played four. All heroes gain an influence. Uh, let's gain an attack and a health, but I can't gain an, a health. We'll just gain the attack. And then what do we have here? Two, four, five. Five. I don't want anything. So all heroes gain one. Maybe you can buy something. I don't really care. Uh, this guy's still the worst, right? Because we want to be able to draw cards. So two, yeah, I think so. four, six, and oh, I don't, yeah, let us draw a card. Two, which is good. four, six. I don't think I need to buy anything for six. Remove two control. No, I'm not buying anything. My deck is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Then I sorry, I should have oh, pitched, pitched dice, a card right? to roll the yellow die. Sorry, forgot to have that. Health. You can gain health. Okay. Done. Start of my turn. I lose a health and I can't gain health this turn. Okay. I also lose a health and reveal an additional Dark Arts card. All heroes lose three health. Whoa! Whoa! Game seven card. All right. I'm stunned. So discard all tokens I don't have any. I'm at Half one. my hand. Discard two cards and we're going to add a control. Each time control is added, we remove uh, one of these from all villains, and we're not allowed to remove it, so this guy might be a problem. I think he's next after we get our, the card yeah. draw back. Ooh, I don't have a good turn. Okay. So I'm going to start off by tossing this. So get a card out of here. And it will be... Surprise. <laughs> card that lets me dig for fun. Okay. 
I'll play that. Draw three cards. One, two, three. I'll just toss these two. I'll uh, gain an attack. Oh yeah, roll the blue die, roll the blue die. Health. I'm not allowed to heal, but I am. you are. Oh yes. No, you're not allowed to move off stun. Oh yeah, you oh, should yeah. probably win up. No, because I got stunned on your turn. Oh, Do I have okay. to finish? Okay, you're right, okay. you're right. I forgot I was stunned. Yep. I'll, I'll heal the full at the end of your turn. So this is jack crap. Okay, yep. cool, great. Gain attack. Draw a card. Yep. Can't remove from location, but I'll just gain the attack. Uh, gain, uh, oh, gain two health, maybe. You can't heal. Nope, oh, not allowed. Yep. Thank you. That makes it easy. Gain two influence, can't heal. Great. And then gain three more influence. Uh, I'll just finish this guy off. Mm -hmm. Uh, so all heroes draw a card. Oh, I get to roll a house. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want money for these last two. I need to do these, uh, tossing for these this two guy's dice. This guy's still dead, though, right? And yeah, yeah. He's still dead, for sure. We can't remove the control token. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna play this to roll a house die. Uh, I'm looking for attack, which is green, right? Yeah. Uh, money. That sucks. Okay, then I'm going to toss a card to roll the green die again. Yes. Attack. Get Got it. it. Get rid of this. So once per game, I discard a card to remove three control, which I'm not allowed to do right now. Then I'm going to toss another card to roll the blue die. Might as well, whatever. Yeah, because now they're all benefits. Card draw. Oh, gain to attack. Draw a card. The turn is not over. <laughs> Blanking him was awesome. That helped for sure. Yeah, yeah, big time. Uh, this will gain me an attack if I defeat a villain, which I did. I gain a gold. Uh, can't heal. And then buying cards. I don't really care. So I'm going to just dump. Yeah, I think I'm done. Unless I see card draw, I don't think I want anything. I know, but I'm not really buying anything. If you're not, we're not going to... Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Fine. Uh, All right. So I draw. We have no more no more stupid Horcrux crap. Mm -hmm. Death Eater. I guess it's not, it's not terrible when he comes now. Okay, so each time a new villain is excuse me, revealed, I'll heal. Oh, and I would heal back at the end of your turn. Uh, lose one. Okay. I'll look at that in a second. Let's go here first. Uh, for each card with a value of four or more in hand, active hero loses one health. One. one. Okay. Voldemort says, add a, a control to the location. Each time control is removed from the location, all heroes lose one health. May oh. not be assigned attack until all other villains are defeated. And when we defeat him, heroes win and he's 20 health. Okay. Uh, I didn't trigger that, so that's fine. Uh, we so did add did control, add so we have to remove from here. And then we can't remove. Okay. So, let's do... Gain an attack. Can't remove from the location and draw a card. Uh, let's do these two cards discarded. Uh, this will gain me attack. And I can heal now, because that's gone, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So then that gives me a influence and draw a card. Same for you. Um, any two heroes each gain an influence and a health. Can't gain a health. Two influence and one more influence, and I may put spells on the top of my deck. Two, four, six, I don't care. Put these here. I don't think, nope, not buying anything. And done. Oh, sorry. So then I'll spend one of those to roll the yellow die. Uh, maybe we'll get a bonus. Draw a card. Oh, oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These are what I all played. 
these I discarded to do that ability. So those are my discard. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Sorry. When for him, we would have lost the health from him being revealed. Oh, yes. So we would have true. one Absolutely. more health loss. Thank you. Thank you. So Absolutely. I think. Yeah. When he gets uncovered, he's revealed. Yes, we know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed Myla. that. Definitely, oh, that definitely. comes again. Hey, Spencer. Okay. Happy, happy Wednesday. One more attack and a health. All right. Oh, Spencer's Hoplo Victorum showed up today. Congratulations. Nice. I am seeing lots of people getting theirs lately. Nice. Victorum? Yes. Or remastered? Victorum. Uh, I'm done. All heroes reveal the top cards of their deck. Heroes that reveal a spell, discard it and lose two health. Oh no. Not a spell. Spell. Okay. Add a control to location. It's added, so we're going to remove one attack from this guy's ability. This guy doesn't do anything. This we can't remove. Okay. Is that four? Okay. All heroes choose one. In an influence or a health. Uh, health. I'm gonna roll the green die. Don't need influence at this point. Health. Oh, nice. Gain two attack and a health. And remove one from the location. We can't. Oh, we're not allowed. Not allowed yet. Hold on. Unless you can kill him first. Oh. Nah, that's okay. It'll remove two when you kill him, so. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, I'll gain two attack. I'll assign attack right now. One, two, three. Finish this guy, and then remove two from location. When and that then, happens, we yeah. both lose a health. Each time, so does that count as, like, a one time? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah, it's just a different amount, but okay. it's a single time. Okay, uh, then... Four more money equals six money. I don't care about the money, unless I want to be removing, but I don't care. Uh, then I'll just assign this one. There. And then, oh yeah, if I don't care about the money, duh, I need to be throwing away. Oh, I played two more allies, so I'll heal two. Definitely put enough attack, oh, yeah. I'll heal two, duh. And then these two I'll throw away to play, roll the green and the blue die. Uh, which are two more attack, if you could, please, and then two on your board also. Throw that away. Whoops, please don't get thrown away yet. And I will draw. Alrighty. Oh no, this card. First all heroes lose one health and add a control. Then he says each time this card is played, we all heroes lose a health. Okay, this says this goes away. Then he says add a control, and then he says this goes away. And then we did them all. Okay. What do we got going on? <laughs> We're gonna blank him for a turn. Okay, I'm going to discard two spells. Each uh, hero gains an influence and draws a card. Uh, that didn't work out well. Gain an attack. Two influence. Nope, 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 Mel. No, no. Toss for stuff. Yeah, let's play one. Let's roll the yellow die. Toss that for the yellow die. We gain a health. Uh, let's spend these four tacks here, and two we're not doing anything with. Roll the green die. Uh, all heroes lose a health. I think you're good here then, wow, nice. Draw three. Guard two. Mm. 
Roll the blue. Okay. Oh, card. Need a shuffle. Okay, I'm gonna toss this one to search my deck for a card. Okay, I'll roll the blue. Attack. Uh, gain attack, draw a card. I'll toss this to roll the blue. Draw a card. Oh yeah, you can use your card to remove three if you care, uh, but no, this will remove I one. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. That's why I'm like not doing it unless we get out of control. Uh, draw. Okay. Uh, then uh, I will toss. No, not yet. I'll play this. Play this to attack. Draw a card. Okay, gain two influence. Play this guy. I'll play another ally. I'll gain two health. All heroes choose one. Gain a money or a health. I'll gain a health. Uh, then I'll roll the green die. Money. Those are done. I played two more allies. I'll just gain two health. Uh, gain attack. Gain attack. Gain attack. Remove a uh, thingamajig from a, a vil, uh, the thing. Then we both lose a health for doing that. Oh no, Voldemort's blank. Oh right? yeah, he's blank. He's blank. He's blank. Got him. Then I'll gain an influence, but for each ally I played, one, two, three, four allies means four more juicy, juicy pennies. Okay. I'm going to assign my juicy, juicy pennies. I would like one penny candy, one other one penny candy. Woo! All heroes gain an influence and remove one from the location. So we all lose it. Oh, we don't because he's blank. He's blank, yeah. Here. Let's figure out what them so we have a hand. Then I'll spend seven on these candies. Oh, you have enough to do that. Wow. Uh, all heroes heal one. And then remove from the location. And then, hey buddy. Oh, he's available. I'm going to put two on this guy. I'll give those for your bin. And we're both full health, so I don't care about his ability. And I don't care about this ability. And I'm just going to draw five cards. Oh, I'm just going to shuffle this. Sorry, I wasn't yep. paying attention. Yeah, it's all good. I was watching that good turn. So the story turn this does go away. Mm-hmm. So we're then going to add a control to location, but we can do that once you're done flipping whatever. You can tell Rob is in the zone. He stops pronouncing consonants. Ah, he owes a nile. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you did kind of say a little like like uh I am tired. I am like wiped. <laughs> it was a long day when you stream like all day and it, then it was a long evening. day starting yesterday, getting yeah. the game. Getting the game setting okay, not knowing if I was gonna stream the game from yesterday morning to deciding to know preloads happen. So then I started preloading on like all the computers. Didn't know if it was gonna be installed. I think I did that night before. The next morning, setting up Hogwarts Legacy on the PC, I wasn't sure how it was going to run. I wasn't sure if I should play it first or start the stream. Uh, then I got installed, then I needed to unpack, but the all morning I was setting up scenes and thumbnails and stuff, thinking like, yeah, I'll stream it, and I'll set it up in case I do want to stream it, so that when it does drop, I can just start playing it right away without playing it first off stream. So then I'm starting streaming a new game, always gets nervous, especially a video game. I haven't streamed one of those, a digital game in a long time, actually. Which this is also after uh, Skyrim. 
Oh, Skyrim with, the night before. Yeah, which was which long. like a long day for you, just like in yes. prep for that as well. So it's like oh man, a big hill that you were climbing. Yeah, yeah. The last Tr- couple trying games. to learn Skyrim last week and then play other games on the weekend, then get back to relearn Skyrim, teaching Kyle on stream, setting up Skyrim stream for the first time, then right into the next day setting up Hogwarts Legacy for the first time, playing that game, but then getting frustrated with the problems in the game and killing the stream put me in a bad mood but then after that we played call of duty Mm -hmm. uh all night Mm -hmm. uh we're up late doing that but having a blast um and then the next day oh i had trouble going to sleep because i don't know it's a rough day the stream thing play play longer than yeah but the stream thing drove me nuts when the stream starts failing like technology wise and i'm like trying to fix it i couldn't stop reading and researching so i was up till two in the morning like reading people's posts about how to fix that game and what could be wrong and then sure enough I was waking up in the night thinking about it and then I woke up uh like I don't know like 7 30 8 o'clock this morning and then was like right into that no coffee even until like noon I totally didn't even think I was so focused on getting Hogwarts Legacy straightened away so I could stream on two PCs make sure the game worked and changing DLSS versions and all that crazy stuff that I talked about on today's stream you can go watch that rant if you want and then right into this like right into this um so yeah it's been kind of non-stop but it's been fun but i'm just wiped like i'm mentally i'm trying to stay so focused i'm glad we like halfway through the game i felt like okay we have this Mm -hmm. it was under control but still yeah i'm trying to catch everything and make sure we're not missing stuff yeah once these were introduced i was like "Uh oh yeah we're in trouble but Yeah, yeah, yeah i think we had under control so yeah, I'm trying to make sure we don't slip and this the wind's here, so that's why I'm feeling comfortable now. But if I sound like I'm slurring through words, I am like going on like I think like five-ish hours of sleep or something like that. I don't know. It's like I kept waking up, so I don't even know what that what that even is. Can I even add? No. Maybe like six-ish almost, but again, it was rough. I like, couldn't stop thinking about that stuff. But that's me. Go ahead. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, active hero chooses another hero to lose to health. You have to lose to sure. health, and then I'll reveal an additional. I see that comment, Jacko. Skyrim is pretty light, <laughs> right? Clear rules. Quit poking the bear. <laughs> We're gonna add a control token. <sighs> it's been a rock tastic day, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely I'm just um, tired and slurring my words for sure. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. You're allowed. But I am to have... having fun. Like I'm having fun. That's what keeps me going. It's all good. Yes, Bob. I, that's I can relate when you're talking about busy, busy time. Like I've done that for work. Is conference time and traveling and hosting conferences, attending conferences. I've been through all that in my past. Like, yeah, getting on planes, trying to ship stuff to conferences, unload trucks to conferences, host a booth at the same conference, then go out all night dancing and wowing clients and executives and stuff and the next morning getting up and like setting it all up again doing it all again and then traveling to a different province or whatever and setting it all up yeah i had to do that for a spat at my last uh, like one of my previous jobs for a bit and, like volunteered to help other departments and stuff i don't know what i was doing if some guy didn't show up to unload the truck i'm like yeah i'll help sure why not i used to unload a truck like 10 years before yeah, my body wasn't as young at the time, or wasn't as old at the time, <laughs> so it definitely was harder. But yeah, conferences, yeah, I know I know both sides of the conference kind of thing, like attending it, running them, and also like just working at them, like through my whole career. Yeah, you don't have to tell me conference time is sucky. Uh, yeah, I know. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah. There have been no rant. <laughs> I did my rant for today, all right? Leave me alone. Yeah, I think you did it this morning. Yeah. Ranting about Hogwarts Legacy and releasing an unfinished game. It's okay. You're allowed to rant. rant. Yep. I paid my money. I can complain. Okay. I'm going to gain an attack and roll the yellow die. I added the control here as well. Draw card. Yes. Oh, take, yeah, organizing. Get a draw card as well. Draw oh, card. Uh, let's gain an attack, remove a control token, so we both have to lose a health, and then let's do, I don't have that card, so two spells, uh, we both gain one influence and draw a card. I probably have influence still sitting here from oh i think another turn or something whatever i only have given you it's fine. one don't worry about it. 
gain an attack. I'm gonna have plenty on my turn. Uh, gain. No, nope, we're gonna throw that one away. Let's do three influence. One, two, three. I played four spells, so everybody gets an influence. And then this card I'm gonna throw away to roll the yellow die again. Rolled it twice, so hopefully this gives us oh, it gives us more influence, which we don't care about. Let's do. We don't care about this. Alrighty. Go ahead. I guess that. Can we do this for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more influences. Nope, mine is a start. Nope, so we don't have to worry about that. Nice. We're going to add a control. And you are good to go. Again, two attack. What do you got here? Two, four, six, eight. And then I'll gain six money. Mm -hmm. And then draw. Go ahead. All heroes. Actually, are... no. Sorry, I'm gonna roll these two dice. What oh, yeah. am I doing? Tired. Uh, just gets one more attack here. A health on both of us. Didn't draw new cards, so didn't change that stuff. That's fine. Okay. I think I did. If not, it just was healed. Now I can't remember. Because he just gave me a health that I couldn't take. I think I did, though. Maybe I didn't. It's all good. All heroes reveal the top card of, the, of their deck. Heroes that reveal a spell discard it and lose two health. Oh, no! They got me. Oh, no. One, two. Okay. Uh, add a control. And look at my hand and see what we got going on. Oh, yay. Let's mute him. And let's do... Gain an attack. Let's roll the yellow die. We'll discard that card. We gain an attack. Let's gain an attack. Remove a control. We both lose a... Always oh, blank, right? And then I get to draw a card. Let's choose to draw a card. <laughs> Let's gain one, and one, and I played four spells, so we both gain an influence. And then these are going to go here. Five there. There. Four here. And I'm done. Okay. One. Rob is about to play Got Your Nose with Boldy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got your nose? Who's got your nose? Uh, this card. Dementor's Kiss. Active hero loses two health. All other heroes lose one. Actually, yeah. Gain two attack and one health and remove a control from location. So then we lose a health. No, nope, oh. he's blank. Oh yeah, he's blank. I did that. I forgot. Uh, all heal too. And then I'll toss these two, roll the blue and the green die. Health and an attack. And I'll gain two money just to throw here. Yep. Done. This goes away at the start of your turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, all heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. No. Hopefully, I have one attack in here. Oh, I do. Okay. Just, oh, I had two. Okay. Uh, let's. Two more. Two gain more. Gain an attack and a health. Gain an attack. And we don't care about those. So we'll just put these three here. Boom. And he's dead. Yes. 
wrong file. Matthew says in the chat, get this. You ready? The caller asked me if I said Levioso. I said no. I told him you didn't fill out the form correctly and need to elevate your game. Levioso. <laughs> wow. GG, we win. That was good. I feel like we kind of crushed that. Obviously. We are trained wizards. Yeah. We worked our way through the games, two, one, uh, one to seven. And uh, yeah, we went to school, we paid attention, we studied in the summers. And uh, yeah, no, we didn't, because that would mean we played between episodes. We did not. No, we did not. Uh, but yeah, we worked our th way through the little campaign and uh, Riggedy wrecked it, except for one, We I think we lost, right? Yeah. And I think it was when they first started adding two villains. The first time we went from one to two, mm. we kind of just didn't evaluate who we should kill first. I think it was, I think it, it was got, that one. yeah, we got locked with a bad combo. Yeah. And then I think it led to this filling up fast, which led to a uh, two, two fast. Yes. And then that spot. And it just control. escalated too quickly, but we yeah. did almost have it. It was very, very close. I think. Yep. Yeah. It kind of turned around for a little bit. So yeah. All right. Neopet 84 has been wait suffered through the whole series for this moment. Final thoughts time. Mel, who do you want to go first? You can go first if you want. Sure. All right. Um, I think I've said it th throughout. I really enjoy this game. I've seen the Harry Potter movies. I haven't read any of the books. Uh, so I'm not like a huge fan, but like I know the story. And I really, really enjoy this game. It was mentioned, I think, in the first one that this game is dated compared to some of the deck builders that we play with some of the mechanics. But I still like it. It still does feel like a challenge. We never really had an issue with the card lock in the market. I think maybe had something like that happened, it would change my thoughts, maybe. But I, I liked how it was, I, th I thought it was very interesting, actually, how each box added more added villains, and we still had to fight the previous villains. I thought I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, just to keep adding and adding and adding more villains each time you played, not just make those villains for that set harder, kind of like how they did the locations, right? Each, That's what I thought. Each box had its own locations, and I kind of thought that was going to be how it worked for the villains, which it didn't, which surprised me. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Um, I liked how our characters evolved as we played and got better. That was interesting, so we weren't just stuck with one uh one static ability the whole time and i really really like these little cards that can really change the way you play you can choose and i think also these would also change based on their player count right what you might um what you might want to have so that everybody's kind of taking care of things um we only played this at two and then once at three players i really liked it at two i think that there could be some downtime especially as there was there was yeah we were just playing the intro game yeah, and I think especially as it's like, okay, I'm drawing and I'm drawing, drawing. Yeah, you're doing things on other people's turn. And you're kind of like excited when they roll a die because you'll get a benefit or maybe they're going to let you draw a card or something. But for the most part, you're just kind of like watching when someone else takes a turn. So I think it playing at four might feel a little bit more downtime. But I really enjoyed this game. And I think once we started, I was like, uh, I can't wait for the next episode. And I was super excited to get uh, the expansions ordered. Yeah, yeah. So I was super excited. I was like, Mel, I found the expansion. <laughs> like, order them. Yeah. I was even telling him, I'm like, should we you... wait till we play it first and kind of look at the whole series? She's like, no, no. Yeah, just go. Well, once we played the first few, I kind of had an idea of what the yeah, game yeah. was. So I'm like, oh, I really like the mechanics of it and I like the, the way that it progresses. So yeah. I'm excited to try the expansions and see what that changes and what that adds. People say that some of makes it a little more difficult. So I'm excited to see that because I feel like some of these episodes we did kind of like crush. So, um, those are all my initial thoughts currently, but as I sit and think while you... Final thoughts. Final we thoughts, We did initial yeah. thoughts like every episode. Or not initial, thoughts. final, final. Um, but if I think of something else while you're talking, I will let you know. Uh, so my thoughts. I think like if... if I, I probably said them all. By the end, what they added to the game, so if I look at it now, like fast forward, okay, we finished the final box, we saw where the... The full game is now revealed to us. We we worked our way through it. We beat them. We got there. We've we've handled the complexity. Awesome. When it got to the end, 
Everything here was cool, but my same problems with the game were shining bright all the way right to the very end, which is the luck factor in this game is a little too high for my taste, mm. which leads to swingy, super easy games. Yeah, some of that's our skill and our decisions we chose. We stopped buying cards at the right times and stuff like that. So we, I know we elevate it. It's a game meant more for mass market audience. It's not, I know they market it to the hardcore gamer too, but I played hardcore games and this is definitely not one, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But I think it's still no excuse to add in. And even by the time this game was released, we had already learned about trashing cards from a deck building game. We learned about clearing junk from a market. Yeah, so those are the only two things. I know they're not here, and I know there's comments left on the videos. They can't wait till we play expansions when they finally add, I don't know, trashing or market correcting or whatever so that I can stop complaining or my issues that I have with it will be corrected. It's, I still don't think it's going to make it the perfect game for me, but for a deck builder, Harry Potter license, targeted mass market, I have to give them huge props to make a, such a cool game that uses movie stills. Mm -hmm. As usually, I don't mind that. I'm fine with it because again, my expectations are a little lowered. It's an it's kind of like an op game, it's like trying to be affordable, but also pay for the Harry Potter license. I know there's a cost there. It, you know, when you first make this game, you're not sure if it's going to succeed. The movies are hot. You know, they obviously they want to put the stuff from the movies. There's more fans of the movies probably than there are the books. It's usually how it, how it goes with some of these franchises. So it's not that bad, but. I have to give them huge props, and I love it, and I will always shout it out. Being someone who plays lots of different board games all the time, and dreads learning a new game, or teaching a new game, I've taught lots of games, I've learned lots of games, you guys have seen me teach you guys lots of games, and show you lots of games. Matthew with the Super Chat, thank you so much, says, Here is to Rob, and my secret connection behind the scenes. We are both Ravenclaw and our, and our dorm mates. Sorry, but I'll always be the best friend. <laughs> Matthew, thank you Matthew, so much. thank you. You're awesome. Matthew, thank you for the support. I appreciate the super chat. You're so kind. Thank you, thank you. We'll talk later, Ravenclaw, buddy. Well, you're dorm mates, so dorm, you'll yeah, get later. Of course. <laughs> was that you uh, cuddling in my bed last night, Matthew? Uh, you are going in the wrong room there? Was that what that was? I'm sure. uh, all right. But what I was going to say is I have to give him props, again, because uh, I play lots of different games. Uh, ever since I got in the hobby, I'm always the one who buys the game, opens the game, teaches the game, obviously on the channel. Mel's not buying games, opening them, learning them, teaching me. Kyle's not opening games, learning them, teaching me. Justin doesn't either. I'm always the one buying the games, showing them the games, playing the games, showing you the games and stuff like that. I do appreciate those out there in, in our community who tell me about the games and explain the games to me and stuff. I do appreciate that. And KNG, again, recently at the Gen Con last year, actually sitting down, being taught a game, uh, not by a publisher, at Gen Con was a real pleasure. Uh, so Kanji, thank you so much for that again. Um, but it, it's rare. It's like so rare. So when games actually put the time, the thought, the design time, the money, the effort in anything that involves me and others getting into the hobby easier, getting a game to the table easier, putting a game on the shelf after a long time and getting it back to the table easier, I have to shout that out. I love that. So the rule, the rule set for this is simple. So the rule book is just too easy to make. You can't screw it up. But I love the system of progressionally adding to the game and adding complexity. So if two non-gamers, or a single non-gamer, I guess, is it a single? No, it's two to four. Yeah, two to four. Technically. I mean, you play two-handed. Two -handed, but, yeah. but not, that's not the audience I'm talking about. Right. So a couple friends or a mom and a daughter or something, you know, they're in the store and they, they're like, we love the Harry Potter movies. Look, there's a card game. And they're not into modern board gaming. This is a beautiful entry point into deck building. Modern board gaming can reel them right in because it has that simplified starting game and just a slightly more complex, like the slow rules grow, like the campaign style. I love that, like Aeons and Legacy style, you know? Mm -hmm. they, they slim out the stuff for most deck builders make it super dirty simple, just to get you used to it. If you fail, good, no problem, just try it again, it's easy, just clean it up, try it again. But it gets them into that deck building, engine building, trying, and if they get stuck, they gotta figure it out, and they gotta learn, but it's like, it's cool they don't just dump on the rules over and over, dump on tons of rules right at the beginning. Um, I love that learning curve to it, and I think it's a beautiful thing. I know there's people out there in the, in the hardcore community probably like, 
and I even saw in the rule book is like this thing, which I also appreciate. Oh, so yeah. for those that are like, you know, man, just open the first three boxes, start there if you already know what you're doing. Let's let's not dance around with it if you're an advanced wizard. I appreciate that too. So the fact they like thought about getting this game to the table, learning this game, teaching this game, people get like again, I I will I will fight to the end about that those parts of the hobby is like your game will not get word of mouth and it will not help the hobby grow if it's making it hard to get to the table. And and I think this does a good job with that, I think. Um, so I have to shout that out. But it's a pretty good deck builder. It's just, again, I've played so many deck builders. Trashing is like, you. I need it to make my engine building game like, just get those starting cards out of there. But I do like the way they built in some kind of cleanup. I notice it. There's lots of discard card mechanics. And oh, that, yeah. That does clean the cards out. So even though I keep drawing into those junky starting cards, they're always just an easy toss, you know? Yeah. But then it makes those discard effects kind of a joke. Because then I'm like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, discard a card, sure, whatever, man. I don't even need these. Like, eh. And then I'm valuing draw a little more to get through the junk. But yeah, definitely the market clearing is definitely a problem. We've already heard that in the chat from people saying, yeah, our game, we got stuck. The market was full of five and six cost cards. We couldn't buy anything. We were screwed right from the beginning, whatever. We lost a bunch of turns. Um, that happens. That can happen easy, right? Mm -hmm. Also, the same can happen. A bunch of cheap cards can show up, and it takes a while to get some of the good ones that you need to deal with what's happening. Like, if we saw no location control, we have some on the villains and stuff, so we should be okay, but it, we could have got out of control really quick, right? Yeah, definitely. And also the randomness of how Yeah, you can get vi villain lock. Yeah, you can get villain lock, too, at the beginning of the game and be really out of control if you can't get stuff going. So if there's the combo of this being a rough start plus this being a rough start could lead into this snowballing out of control. If that only happens one in every five to ten games, okay, that's not that bad. That's fine. But it still can happen. And there's easy mechanics and rules and whatever to add to the game to fix that. We know that. So it's like, obviously, they heard that and added it to expansions, I guess. But we don't know that yet. So this is just our thoughts on the core game. Please do not leave comments saying the game is amazing. You're playing it wrong. You're supposed to play with these rules now. It's just known. But it's not. The mom and kid audience I'm talking about, the one that I want to add to the hobby to grow the hobby. So the conventions get bigger. They're more often. More people are coming to the channel to check out games and hang out in the chat. You know, I can do this longer. Like all this stuff I want the hobby to grow. It just can get so much better. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep, keep shouting it from the rooftops. Uh, it needs to, right from the box, the rules need to have the FAQ stuff in there on the next print run. They've printed this game probably... 40 times they've ordered big containers from China of it. Just one of those times, update the rulebook with those better rules. Like, people will still buy your expansion if they have a great time, even if the expansion adds those rules. Like, you know, put them in the base game, like, if they're really necessary. But see, to, my, to the point we made a couple episodes back, that the, the, those were added into the expansions. Maybe they haven't been tested and balanced with this game. Maybe they don't need to do that in the base game. But once you start adding in expansion content and making the game more difficult or adding more things, then you need those kind of rules. Speaking more difficult, you just reminded me we should have read this. Uh, the whole crux, the whole cruxes are destroyed and all the villains are defeated. The heroes win. Celebrate. You have defeated Lord Voldy and secured the safety of the wizarding world. If you want to replay green game seven with increased difficulty, oh, we could have done that. Stack all three Lord Voldemort cards in order: game five, six, and seven. At the bottom of the villain stack face up. That's neat. We could have done this because we crushed it. So I think we definitely could. Yeah, have. it wouldn't even mattered. We yeah, just, we, just gone through the motions. Like, yeah, yeah. So I don't. We were, yeah, don't we were know. fine. Uh, to increase the difficulty of any game, or to play through all seven games at an increased difficulty, start each game with one or two control on the first location, or add. One control to each location when a new one is revealed. Oh, that's a neat. Okay, way. so there you go. That's what you can do going forward. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The other thing, sorry, go ahead. The one last thing, and I kind of talked about it with the villains, but it's weird that the villains didn't increase in difficulty. You already at, talked about that. No, no, no. But like <laughs> each game, like if they're all shuffled, so it's random. It's weird that they're kind of not set in a difficulty scale. So you're kind of at the beginning of the game, you're starting. Then you would with... know what's coming, like for sure. So you could game so you it a little more. Plan it, yeah. But I, I knew, like, you get to know the villains after a while. So if I don't see them at the start, I know that they could show up. And then we yeah. haven't seen them. I know what's eventually coming. So I know, like, okay, maybe like 
got to be ready to take out this guy because this guy could show up. And if they pair together, you don't want that happening. So let's right. prioritize this guy. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, we need to know, Neopet wants to know how far in the deck was the sword? Oh, the book was coming up next. Yeah, I want to see what the sword even did. Yeah, let's... Uh... It was something about rolling the red die. Oh, man, it's not even like... Yeah, there was no chance. <laughs> we had to buy all the cards. Yeah, if you get more than a quarter in the deck and you're playing two player, you're doing it wrong. Oh, it was... Hold on. Oh, about huh? No. Uh, <laughs> like 30 to 40% more of the deck. Wow. Yeah, we would have not seen it. Not even close. That deck is too big if you're thinking of getting this one-off card, but it it's one of those things they hope you replay the game a lot, so when it does come out, it's like a story to tell. Like, remember that one game? But it's seven costs, so it could just sit there for a while until you're able to get it, but... I mean, it's just another ca card that lets you roll a die, so... Twice. Twice, so I didn't even see that. Yeah, we also didn't see um, Harry Potter Gandalf or the Juice in this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that just makes the games different, feel different. You can't always go with the same strategy, but yeah. there are categories of cards, so there's alternate cards to take in those cases, but... Definitely. Uh, James says, FYI, no market change. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, we knew that. Somebody said that there's no the market change. That was like a house rule thing. Uh, F, but the, the trashing, though, is the thing later, right? I think something like that was somebody said was coming. Uh, FYI, no market change in expansion. One. Oh, in one. Oh, okay, maybe it's coming later. I see. If... Uh, I've only played box one of expansion two, but basic rules, no change in market rules. Expansion two helps clear the market. Oh, okay. So together adding both expansions in, eventually we'll get to the point where we're like, okay, we're now a, a complete deck builder. We feel good about it. Maybe. But to me, that I, I don't mind that those rules are not here. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah, it's just him. Just I, I don't mind them at all. Yeah, I just love that extra control of trashing and, and building my market. And then even beyond that, the better control, but I don't expect every game to have it because that's what makes Aeon's End special, is the whole not shuffling your deck. Oh, yeah. Which that rule alone just makes me love that deck builder. Probably it will be hard to ever top that deck builder for me because the amount of control there from not shuffling a deck and just the annoyance of shuffling a deck, like it just speeds it up. Mm -hmm. But the whole idea of just putting stuff in your discard pile and buying cards in a specific order to try to pair combos up and draw into combos and the whole role thing in that game, how it's like everyone really needs to do their role. Uh, yeah, I just love Aeon's End. And then the baddies thing, all that stuff. It's like the baddie stuff's more interesting than this, for sure. But yeah. I do like how the baddies can combo off each other. Yeah, that's That's neat. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely neat. But yeah. But man, I, don't, I just love playing deck builders, engine building games in general. I just love that stuff. So, I also like anything that has secret components. Oh, the, like the hidden, hidden, hidden boxes? Hidden information, hidden boxes, like hidden the anything. super secret dice that we had well, no idea. Well, they were coming. spoiled on the back of the box. Yeah, yeah. But they so wanna, I knew they, they were there. You, they need to show people who are like, why am I paying this much money for this game? What is in here? They need to show them, oh, there's some dice yeah. there. Like, I do also like how we kind of, or you specifically, complain about these dice. And then at the end, they were needed to win the game. Yeah, that's funny. I really enjoyed how they kind of flipped that. Yeah, somebody did say they have a version of this game that dice aren't translucent. Like these are, uh, I oh. guess, were changed in a later print run or something. Interesting. So they're just like solid colors. Maybe they were at the beginning of the, the game when it was released. Interesting. But yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the comments everyone's been leaving on the videos for the series. But again, we're going to continue. Oh, Jana also says, we couldn't get past expansion to box two. After three tries, we put it back on the shelf for a while. Oh, Janet, we're scared now. But we're doing expansion one first, right? Yeah, but here's the difference. We will have Janet watching in her chat, helping along. Janet, Janet doesn't have us watching her play to help her along, oh, too. That's true. So we cheat. Yeah, we have more, more we're help. We're dirty alive. cheaters. We, we tilt, this, tilt it in our favor. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. But yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Janet's here now. I can. Oh, now another reason to restart. Oh, okay. I see. I see you guys. Oh, yeah. Up to. Spencer wanted us to yeah, restart. Yeah, I, I saw that too in. earlier. I ignored it completely. I pretended I never saw that. <laughs> um, but yeah. I really like this game, though. 
Yeah, I know I've cool. said it so many times. I think it's just a fun game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like even without the Harry Potter license, like it's just yeah. a fun game. Like again, I'm not a huge into the license, like, but it's just like it does a decent job with the amount of resources and deck building and engine building and all that and the crazy randomness can be fun if you just let it let let it go and let it just just mm -hmm. happen. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, James streaming coming. Um, yeah, so the plan is I will schedule it soon. Stay tuned to the channel, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, yada yada, all that stuff. Uh, so you don't miss the next one. But uh, we will, again, for those who showed up late, we are going to be playing the Monsters one, the next expansion. We're going to play through the little campaign that's in there, I guess. I don't know. I'll read it off. I'm going to look at the rule book first and see like if that makes sense to start that way, uh, which I think it is. I think it's probably recommended to do that. Um, which I know it's intended to continue after this campaign. Once you beat these seven, then it's like now going to those four. I'm pretty sure. I'm curious what they are still planning to do. So I'm excited for yeah. that. So that's the plan. So stay, stay tuned. That I don't know, be it Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't think Sunday, right? Because you were saying Super Bowl. Is that this Yeah, I mean, people have just mentioned that they would like us to not yeah, stream we've been, we've been threatened uh, not to play during people's football games, but that doesn't even happen until like the evening. <laughs> I know, I know. People like but... watching it starting at like noon to yeah, just get or all maybe they're having up. company and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, we understand eating unlimited chicken wings all day. Yeah. I understand the pain. <laughs> I understand. I understand the trouble. Uh, so yeah, so it'd probably be Saturday, uh, and we'll probably play a couple sessions of it or whatever. Or, replay the first session if we lose that kind of idea yeah i wonder how difficult it is yeah. right if it's something it, it, that we yeah we'll have to replay a couple times. are you saying we should practice it one game off stream to see or should we just go into it blind i mean i'm i'm excited to also go into it blind okay we'll go blind then yeah because it, it's i'm sure it's exciting for the chat when we open up like, like the, got the, you. what are like these cards that they didn't know we were or we didn't know we we're gonna have these like uh, horcrux yeah, yeah. cards, and then we're like, oh, Every, everything whoa. I was bitching about the whole way through. They're all like, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. wait, Rob. Just wait till so you wait. have to focus on the dice. Just wait. You're you're ripping on this card. Yeah, you just wait till you need that card later, and you're begging to see it. Yeah. So I think I think blind will be fun if we just read the rules and go from there. And then I assume do we have to play the same character. No. You can just choose at that point. We'll do a poll probably, and. Okay. Uh, Unless we should be sticking with our same character and what we know and everything, so we're like, our engine like it just works. Yeah, and we, we go, know. We go into it as experienced as we could be instead of like trying new Fiddling things. Fiddling with a new new character. Yeah, yeah you're right. Know. That's probably a good idea, especially for the first one. Because it's meant to be like, here's an expansion you played hundreds of times. We've you know you played the game for years. Here's an expansion. Now now try this. But we're still like we've only been playing the game like we've played like eight times or ten times or something total. I don't know, but. Oh, James says only a few new rules. We don't need to play it first. We can play it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We'll play blind. That's fun. No worries, Michael. No worries. Thanks for being here, too. And uh, keeping the chat fun. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways. Uh, oh, John's here. Hey, I love the oldie but a goodie dominion. Hey, we don't use those words around here. No, I'm just joking. I... <laughs> For a fun engine builder game, this game for some reason had me think of it for whatever reason. Yeah, because Dominion's like the granddaddy deck builder that started like the popularity of deck building and everyone wanted to jam it in their games because that game sold very well and was loved when it came out. And I came into the hobby not too far after that game got really popular, but when I saw it, I was just like, it doesn't look like too interesting to me. But I know it is because I know deck building, I just love that deck building. But like, I just started finding other deck builders that were out at the time building off of it and I was like I'd rather get something that's like has more theme a few more mechanics a little more interesting to me that's all so I went for things like Thunderstone and Star Realms and that kind of stuff so I think you said it last week but this really makes me want to play more deck builders oh yes on that I note, love deck builders uh we talked about it during this campaign was uh it, it reminded me of a deck builder I wanted to go grab uh Thunderstone Quest because I played Thunderstone Advance I have a couple boxes of that We've never played it on stream, but it reminded me of that. It brought me back to the old school deck builders. This game feels like an old game from when I got into the hobby, mm -hmm. which just means like 10 years old, which isn't that old, I don't think. But uh, it reminds me of those classic, classic deck builders. And it made me go, oh, yeah, Thunderstone. And then I went, oh, yeah, there's a Thunderstone I, I wanted, but I still haven't got it. 
Well, I did find a copy, uh, and I bought it, and I have it. It showed up the other day. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'm kind of, this has made me want to play more deck builders, mm -hmm. and so Thunderstone Quest, at some point, I'll play on the channel. I don't know how soon, but, uh, yeah, we have it. So if you're interested, I know there's a few people when I said it, were like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So just letting you guys know, uh, yeah, more deck builders will be coming for sure. Yes, Mike, I was more into deck construction, too, at the time. Oh, definitely, with, like, yeah, Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, true. So, yeah, my board game, I kind of just wanted more board to my game, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, I don't know if that's the way to say it, but. Hold on. Did they do hotel lottery on the same day as Super Bowl? Yeah, it's, it's, but there's a noon. No, I, I know, but you might not get into the hotel system for hours. I know. So you have to like be paying attention if yeah. you really care. Yeah. Oh, that sucks, man. But I think you get an email pretty quick telling you what time I think it is. So then you just can so set then an you alarm. Can, yeah, set an alarm on your phone, Matthew, and then just have some fun when it starts buzzing or ringing or whatever. Then run to the computer and try to figure your hotel thing. I think Matthew's already done his research on what hotel he's that's, looking for. So that's what I was just about to say. Like, have a list of your priority hotels and then try. You know. Mm -hmm. So you got a refund then. I don't think he's getting a refund until he books a new one. Oh. Because you want to make sure you have something in the lottery before you cancel. But what's the refund policy on your room? Like, because if you've got a no refund room, you will still have to at least pay for the first night of your room if you cancel. That's usually the policy. We've been through that. They make you pay one night. Oh yeah, Jacko is also... We need to add Jacko to our thing, but uh, Jacko got a badge and yeah, in, his, yeah, all, yeah. in all of that I, process I, as well. I don't know, he messaged me, but I just don't want to add him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll we just got to remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. But again, don't feel left out. Jackal, go post that in the convention thing if you didn't already. They, he, they did, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because if the more people keep posting in there and talking about it in the public channel on our private Discord, not in the private channel on our private Discord, <laughs> too many layers of privateness, uh, we can't get other people hyped up and interested in stuff too. So mm -hmm. if it's just all crickets, no one else is going to be like, ah, I'm good. Way back in 2013, when I was buying deck builders. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been more than 10 years. Yeah, because 2012 was when I was first like getting into the hobby. Late 2012, I believe, is when I played my first like real board game and was like, all right, we'll talk about that more in the future. I've, I've reminisced about that story many times. All right. Anyways, we're going to get out of here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for being members. Thanks for clicking the join button. Thanks for donating on Patreon. Uh, we appreciate the support, allowing us to buy games like this, allowing us to travel to conventions, allowing me to buy new cameras, computers, sound equipment, lights, all that jazz, allowing me to do this full time, allowing Mel to buy paints and paint in her spare time so that we can play with painted bits on the channel. Uh, and thanks for playing with us and all that. So I appreciate the support. Thanks for helping the channel grow. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for getting us. Oh, we lost someone. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It happens. It's okay. We're not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> fine. I don't care. It's all good. Maybe it's somebody who canceled their YouTube account. Who even knows? <laughs> and they le they left a whole bunch of channels. Who knows? That's okay. But thank you for getting us almost to 17k. But just not enough. No, I'm just joking. It's all good. I appreciate every single subscriber. Uh, I, I was kind of like after 10k pretty just like, yeah, I'm happy. I'm good. But keep subscribing though. Keep yeah, now going. we need to get a 20k. 20k is the goal. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Keep gaming. Be nice to people. And uh, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow, some of you, uh, in some more Harry Potter. No, not Harry Potter. Not Harry Potter. No. See you tomorrow in some more Hogwarts Legacy if you're interested in seeing more of that game. But again, spoilers and all that stuff. So I totally understand if you don't want to watch, but I'm still going to play because I'm having fun. Uh, so anyways, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.